Hello, Commander, and welcome back to Lewis and Ben Save the World. Today, um, I thought we'd play a game because we, we, we were we playing XCOM mm -hmm. for the last three weeks. Yep. It was intense. We it got was our, too intense. Well, we got our asses handed to us. We got our asses torn off, <laughs> handed to us in a box with a pretty bow, <laughs> yeah. with a little gift note that said, fuck you, <laughs> from the aliens. Wow. Um, so today, we are looking at playing a different game from my childhood that we well, I played when I needed a break right. from XCOM. Okay. Okay. Needed so a break from XCOM. Mm -hmm. I was little. I was a kid, so I was like, what, like 10, 11, 12? Mm -hmm. You know, had my had been terrified by mm -hmm. aliens busting out things, brain bugs, invading my base, killing all my dudes, giving me a hard time. Although I am right now ready to start a new XCOM challenge, I feel like we can we can leave it for a little break. Yeah, because everyone a needs break. a little break, a little change, a little change of pace. Mm. So today you're going to journey with us and play. I'm going to watch Ben and help Ben play a game. I have never seen this game before. I didn't even know it existed. It's, called, th it's a game called Star Control 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Star Control 1 wasn't really a game. It was more like a arena game, like, um, like just a fighter. Right. But Star Control 2 added a story. Right. For, for almost no reason. <laughs> Star Control 1... Wasn't really. It's not like Half Life One. It didn't even have right. a story. Okay. So imagine like a so what game. What was it like? Space Invaders, kind of. Yeah. Imagine a game that was not even that. Even worse <laughs> than that. Wow. Like it was just. Imagine. Imagine Space Invaders, but versus. Right. So you had two little Space Invaders, and you'd mm -hmm. shoot each other. That was Star Trek One. Star Trek right. Two. A guy. A guy went crazy and designed it, and he must have went mad. He just. It was. This was this game was from a different year. So anyway, okay. well if the um, this if this intro screen's anything to go by, looks fucking amazing. Look, Honestly, we've got like, like a space station. We've got, oh, so they remastered it, it um, when Sam gets when Sam gets gets get it. All, there we go. So they remastered oh, yeah. it. It's in widescreen apparently. Well, yours is, and mine and the people at home isn't. Right. It's got a weird graphics setup. Okay. So the moment you try to pipe it through to anywhere else, it goes. Uh, oh, so mine stretch, but you're, everyone else is just seeing it in the, the correct four by three resolution. <laughs> yeah. okay, cool. Um, I'm of course dressed as uh, a, a really creased shirt, <laughs> um, red shirt. Actually, this fits me like super nice. It's, it's trim. It's really trim. I actually. <clears throat> oh, hang on. I actually like totally busted out of this. I put it on. I <laughs> the instantly, zip like, popped immediately. Basically, I breathed out. So I might just like it might just sag off me. And of course, Ben, you're dressed as. Um, Han Solo. Yeah. Well, we didn't have two Star Trek customers. Ben Solo. So, um, Ben Solo. He's actually a character in... Uh, no, that's that's the new guy, isn't it? What's he called? The new baddie. He's Ben. Ben... I've completely forgotten his name. Oh, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. That's it. He's Ben. He's Ben. His name's ben. ben. He's literally Ben Solo. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Of course he is. And that's you. Um, oh, spoiler alert. Role Shit. Playing. If you manage to make a whole year on the internet... Without, Without watching the new watching Star Wars. The, yeah, well, I don't think it's <laughs> shit anyway. So, um, basically, the way this is going to work is we're just going to play it. So, here's yeah. a new game. Cool. Well, let's just dive in. Keyboards only. So, you don't know what to expect. There's no, key I know keyboard nothing. only. So, this comes from a time when a mouse was like a luxury item and you couldn't guarantee that everyone had one. No, so it's uh, basically your controls are enter and the arrow keys. Right. That's all you space need. Spacebar? You might have to use spacebar a little bit. We'll find okay. out. Um, so, so this was created in 1992. It was made open source 10 years later, wow. and another 14 years later, we're playing it. Wow! It's like a time capsule. So, we're going to need some good sound for this. So, Earth and her partners in the Alliance of Free Stars. Okay, it's the evil Urquan and its hierarchy of battle oh, thralls. Man, you don't want to mess with the battle thralls. And the Urquan were winning. Shit. So, on the edge of the known frontier... Oh. An amazing discovery Hear was me made. Geared. Far beneath the surface of an unexplored alien world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh man, that's us. Huge underground sea. That's us. That is literally us. This is our crew. Yeah, I'm this guy uh, with his knee out, looking, out, climbing up. Yeah. And you're pointing. You're explaining what the hell everything is. Filled with the technological wonders of an advanced alien race, the precursors who vanished a thousand centuries ago. Ooh. A thousand hundred years. But then the Ur main Urquan fleet broke through the Alliance's defensive line. Oh shit, too little too late. Isolating the planet and stranding the scientists a hundred light years away from Earth. Oh man. They waited hopefully for a rescue vessel. Is that us? 
This is us, yeah. Oh, okay, we didn't discover it then. But it oh, never came. Um, we got killed on the way. Respawn. Try again. Twenty years have passed. So we are the survivors of oh. the research mission. Right, so we've been completely cut off from the Federation. This world, yeah. Uh, we continued our investigation of the underground city and have discovered its purpose. Mm. Okay. It is a factory. What for? What for? Dun, dun, dun. The building starships. starships. That's right. right. That's a very, like, 70s Star Trek design, isn't it? But there aren't enough materials, that's why, so it's not complete. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's supposed to have all those modules attached, but it's just a bare oh, base. It's just the hull. So we can only finish the skeleton of one starship. There's no, there's not enough materials on this planet. So we can right. just about get the skeleton of this so starship. We're, we're the space. only hope. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. So, what, so basically, 20 years ago, um, we left Earth on a research mission to try and find technology that would, mm -hmm. that would sway the, the war between the Alliance of Free Stars. Right, and the Kuran Battle Thralls. And the Urquan Battle Thralls. So... We've got some hyperspace. We have to use hyperspace to get back. Right. Because this ship does travel in hyperspace. Cool. Well, you'd hope ancient technology would do that. Um, it sounds like Earth have got bigger problems than a lost colony, to be honest. Well, we have to find out what's happened. Right. Okay, so this is like a story exploration kind of jobby. Yeah. Right. Can we See, go I, like I'm not gonna tell. I'm not going to tell you anything. Do we have if, to if be... If you haven't watched if you chat, if you don't know what's happening, don't I'm look, at, no don't look it up. No. Just take we'll, a, we'll experience take a it with fresh. Us. So first of all, we want to actually... Oh, this is Earth. We got to Earth already. Uh, this is... Um, hang on a second. Hang on. Is there... Okay. Game. Oh no, hang on. Right. So, uh, manifest roster. Uh, okay. Oh, sh Situation sh report, shit. helmsman. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember how to play this game. <laughs> right. So, what do we have? So, we've got cargo. We've got yep. nothing in the cargo. We've got right. devices, roster. We've got one what battle that thing? cruise thing. Is that like a laser? 18 crew on it. We got. Okay, so it caps the name of Zelnik. We need to change that. Right. So I'm wondering how we do that. Settings. Captain. Okay. So what's, what's the name? Captain Ben. Uh, ben Solo. Ben Solo. I might not be totally good all the time. Okay. I've got an option to be a, a space pirate. I might take What's it. your flagship name? Um, so what have you called this skeleton bare bones ship that you've discovered? Uh, the aluminum... Owl. <laughs> I Al don't know. <laughs> the Illuminati. <laughs> okay. Cyborg. I don't know what that actually does. Okay. And I can't remember. Well, I'm going to have to relearn this game with you. Cyborg. Okay. We're going to say Cyborg off. Cyborg off. I don't need a Cyborg. That's Data. He's really annoying. Okay. And data. Then, uh, we're going to save it as well. I think mm -hmm. you have to manually save it. Right. Okay. okay. We're not Iron Manning this then. Manifest. We'll, we'll try and Iron Man it as much as we can, right? Cargo. Okay. I remember this. I remember this. So the roster is how many crew you've got. Okay. So we've got 18 crew. So what's that thing that flashes? That that thing on the side of our ship? I think that is a, that is a support ship. So oh, we've, okay. got, so we've got, then, got like we've got, a little corvette. We've got the big ship and we've also got a crew. Uh, an, I think that's an Earthling cruiser. So that's right. obviously the ship that we... Flew out on originally. Right. It's like it's like a, it's like a classic Enterprise. Oh man, are we going to end up like Battlestar Galactica with like this flotilla of little ships following us? Maybe about? we will. Maybe we won't. Ah, oh, I love that. I don't know. So, um, star map. This is the star map. Wow. Okay, these are all the, the places that you can visit if you want. Uh -huh. um, and I will let you take over. Okay. So, so I just like arrow keys, <laughs> and it's, it's like asteroids. So right. yeah, you recognise this, don't you? No, I've never seen it before in my life. Well, no, but you recognise this this solar system. Yeah, this is Earth. This is the well, this the, the, the our solar system, Sol. Look, I'm heading for the blue one. Okay, because that's going to be Earth, right? That's our mission. Well, Easiest game ever, Lewis. I mean, come on. Is that? <laughs> I, well, you're, you're in charge, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, this this game doesn't help shot. you. Oh no, too much. Too. Oh jeez. Okay, I got to. So, right. right. So your manoeuvring thrusters are not very well upgraded. No. Okay, hang on. Let's just don't stop. want to fly into the sun. Let's stop, 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 stop. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> stop! You don't have. You can't. Stop. I can't. I can't go back. I can only go forwards. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. 
Oh, jeez. Can I have some? Can we upgrade? Can we buy some retro thrusters? Yes. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> okay. So basically, I have to turn around and like fly in the. Oh, no. oh my Hold god! This is insane. How do you fly this thing? You'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll okay. have to get used to it. What's this? Is it bad? Oh. So what? The brain monster is the the captain, and the big green thing is the ship. You'll find out. Okay. Shit. They've taken Earth. Okay. Hostilities against our orbital platform be tolerated. In addition, your ship does not respond to standard okay. hot start lying already. identification transmissions and is therefore deemed to be okay. independent doesn't sound so bad. This is oh. not permissible. It is bad. Only subservience shall be tolerated. Shit. This drone now leaves to inform the Urquan oh, of shit. your transgressions. Okay. You are commanded to remain here and await the arrival <laughs> yeah, of sure. the Urquan. Yeah, I'll just I'll just sit here and wait for your fleet. Will be punished. Have we got a gun? Can we can we, can I shoot that drone? Oh come back. It's gone. It's too fast. Okay, yeah, it's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, um, shibbles. Okay, well, I've got to get out of here then. Um, should we just check out Mars on the way on the way out of here? Well, there was this... Well, it's gone now, so you can still check out Earth. Oh, okay. Why don't we check out Mars? Oh, well, I'm at Mars now. I'll, I'll, I'll double back to Earth. I'll slingshot around, around Mars. That's a thing I hear in the movies. That's the standard get-out clause for a space film. Now, okay. this is pretty good for its time, right? Okay. Scan? Yeah. Sure. Um, does auto scan like do all the mineral energy biological? Yep. Cool. So I just hit that one. Yep. Um, beep, beep, beep. Okay. So it's got some minerals. Not a lot else. So hit dispatch. Uh, ah, I can send down like a mining drone. Yep. Cool. Let's go for that one. Blam. Is this real time? Am I using like time up? Or how, how does that work? No, nope, just take as long as you want. So when you're finished, hit space. Can I just go get them all? That's yeah. Cool. Either this little drone is very fast, or this planet is very small. I'm just going to get them all. Oh, man, this immediately makes me think of that ridiculous dune buggy chase from um, Star Trek Insurrection. Was it Insurrection or Nemesis, maybe? Do you remember Picard gets in a dune buggy and gets chased by like Mad Max pirates for no reason? Oh, yes. So I think oh. you're full. Am I full? Okay. Yes, How do I come space. back? Oh, pew, 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 pew. You can shoot with enter, I think, and space. Uh, space comes back. Nope. Maybe escape. Mm. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. so that had 12 crew on it. So you dropped. You, you had to take some crew down to power right. it. But also, you now collected a load of potassium and bismuth and all sorts of crap. Sweet. I assume that will come in handy later. I don't know. Um. I guess there's nothing else to do here? Nope. Don't have, okay, sweet. Um, manifest. Cargo. So I've got go. 50 of these these ones. Base metal they are. Um, and that's it. Yeah, so that's how much they're worth. You see, oh, the, okay. see they're bucks worth each. like one, so two, three, four. So pink is just space gold. Exotic, yeah, that's worth a lot more. Okay. Radioactive precious rare earth. Noble gas, guns. base metal, corrosive. Okay, cool. Do, is it just for selling or can I make stuff? Uh, can't remember. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. Exit menu. And so star nav map. navigate is the one you want to do. Oh, Sorry, whoops. not star map. All right. Hit escape. Uh, navigate. Yeah. Right. So back to Earth. We just went for a quick metal stop on Mars. Yeah. Sure. So this is like, this is where Mass Effect got the idea. <laughs> right. Of going down onto planets. Okay, well, I have to admit, this little mini game for mining was much more fun than the Mass Effect one. Yeah. I did not enjoy that. Oh. Sure. Oh, you're in Mercury. Check out Mercury on the way. Yeah. Now, I will give you a small tip here. Right. Tip me up. Do you, what do you know about Mercury? Uh, it's really hot. Okay. Um, is my little ship going to explode if I try to land on Mercury? Find out. <laughs> 
shit. Okay, let me look at these stats. Um, temperature 165 degrees. That does sound bad. So the way I do it is if you press dispatch, really? right, and then you choose where you want to go, it does use up some fuel to do that. Okay, but okay. so I can go get this orange. Um, stuff. If you hold your hover your hand over the escape key. Oh, so I can nip down there for like a split second. Well, just <laughs> you don't land in the exact right place. Uh, okay, so if I just like nip down. Woo! Oh, it looks fine. Okay, so this. Oh no, I am dying. I'm dying. You're no, I'm not, not dying. Oh, what's that red bar? See this? See those fires and right. those expl those? So you're full. So hit escape anyway. Oh, did I not empty it after the last time? No, don't worry. You just picked up loads of stuff. Oh. There's, there's a lot of riches down the mercury. So. The minigame gets harder based right. on how tricky the stuff is to collect. And some planets you go down to are absolutely impossible. <laughs> right. And I guess I can upgrade my little... See that um, fire? That yeah. fire will kill your land. Immediately? Well, like... very. it'll do a lot of damage to it. Okay. Oh, okay. Out of there. Okay, you're getting it. So the, higher, uh, the, the good coloured ones are the ones you want. Yeah, that grey stuff's no good. Got loads of it already. Um, do I have a cargo limit on my big ship? Yes, you do, but... Um, Is it quite big? It's quite a lot, yeah, I think. Uh, right, I think we're just down to the um, down to the metals now. <laughs> nope, out of there. Nice. Okay, I get it. It's, um, so you can dispatch as much as you want, but obviously it uses fuel each time. Oh, yes, I'm down to seven fuel. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's a problem. It's okay, you can... There's, there's a way to fix that. Okay, it's quite a chill game, isn't it, at the moment? Like... You know, we're just cruising through space. I'm a bit worried about those, um, the Koran fleet turning up. Urquan fleet. Being Urquan, sorry. Yeah. Being not happy with me. They're not going to mess around. So, am I, am I on like a time limit? No. Okay. No, you can just chill around, take the time. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? No, is it like super irradiated? I can't even scan it. Why can't I scan? 22 degrees, plus two weather. Okay, the world hasn't been like super devastated, but it is pink. Is that a shield or something? Has it got a shield up? Try and dispatch. Nope. Yeah, I think it's got an energy shield. Hmm. Okay. Should we go say hello to the station? Boop, 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 boop. Attention unidentified space vessel. I am Starbase Commander Hayes of the Slave Planet Earth. He's Our human, though. You're a weird. traitor. Situation critical. Energy cores exhausted. Oh. Scanners and deep radar are non-functional. We cannot identify your Shouldn't have told me that, mate. <laughs> are you the scheduled hierarchy resupply ship? Yep. Repeat. Are you the resupply vessel? Man, this guy is a noob. So you have to read out what you're going to say to him. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so I can say, no, we're the Illuminati, but we stand ready to assist you. Or, ah, oh, yes, we are the resupply vessel. What do you need? Or slave planet? What the hell's going on? Okay, I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend and scope them out. It's about damn time. Yeah, we're the resupply the vessel. Agreement, the Urquan promised that this station would be resupplied at least every five years, and it's been over eight since we saw you. Wow. If you had arrived a few weeks later, there wouldn't be anyone alive on this station. That's weird. Never mind. Just begin your transfer of materials immediately, starting with the radioactives. Uh, now, you collected some radioactives I did. from Mercury. So, so I can give him the, like, the uranium or whatever it was I found. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to see if I can milk him for something. He's clearly desperate. He's a terrible negotiator. He's like, I'll do anything for this stuff. So, um, yeah, what you got, buddy? Captain, your message was garbled. Our receivers have very little power. Uh, it's a cop-out, isn't it? Um, give me some information instead, then. I couldn't quite make it out, Captain. Could you please repeat? Yeah, I said information. I couldn't quite make uh. it out, Captain. Could you please repeat? So, I have to give him... But can I give him a little bit to get his, his communications online? And sure. Then... We're initiating transfer of radioactives, Captain. Now, as soon as our engineers can refit the energy cores, there, that's much better. Power ratings are climbing, life support... Yeah, maybe he's not such a noob negotiator as I thought. Radar systems and he fooled me. Are now online, and I can scan your vessel. What the hell kind of ship is that? Just who are you, Captain? I'm friend. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, no shoot. Um... 
Yeah, shall I tell them the truth? I am Captain Ben Solo of the Starship Illuminati. We are the survivors of the Star Control Science Research Team to the Vela Star System. Although he's probably grown up on uh, under slave planet government. So I don't think he's going to know. He's not going to be taught proper history, is he? He's not going to know who I am. Uh, but I'll try. Star Control Science Mission, huh? <laughs> Captain, I served as a Star Control Officer during the war aboard several cruisers in the Corward Front. Well, you look very young for your age. Scientific mission to Vela, I would have heard about it. What? Well, it was top secret. So, that's... doesn't... that's not good for me. Uh... I need to explain okay, everything. Um... What's, what's the deal with the Starbase? Yeah, I know that. ...to assist hierarchy vessels which are in need of repairs or fuel. Since the shield around the Earth cuts us off completely from the planet, we're dependent on the Urquan resupply ships for oh. non-renewable resources. The it's just like a listening outpost. ...the are supposed to arrive every five years, at which time the Urquan somehow penetrate the shield and exchange those of us up here with replacement personnel from the surface. God, it's like a prison sentence, isn't it, being on this space station? Um, well, I guess that red glow is the, is the shield, but explain it. Oh, uh, that sucks. That doesn't sound so bad. You're not governed by them, you're not... It's no slave labor, you just have to stay locked on Earth. What's going on with the Urquan now? Soon after the Earth accepted the Urquan's oath of fealty, they departed, leaving behind a battle group of Spathy and Illrath ships based on the moon. Okay, avoid the moon. That's good, I nearly went over there before coming to Earth. Um, right, what was the thingy? That I think the it's a drone. Urquan security drone. It keeps an mm. eye on us. Captain, what happened to the spy drone? Um... I'm gonna tell him the truth. He's gonna get upset. He <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he? Like, he doesn't want a battle fleet turning up. Um, but I think maybe we can be friends. I'm gonna tell him the truth. Uh, we approached it and it went off into hyperspace. Oh no, right now it's probably cruising through hyperspace yeah. heading right towards the closest hierarchy that, outpost. That's what I said. When the Urquan find out that you're here, they're gonna send a combat fleet in. That's good for you. You know, you get loads of supplies and shit. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So my mission was totally secret. Well, come to think of it, there were some rumors that Corridor 9, the Special Operations Division of Star Control, was directing some hush-hush operation near Anderson Space. The Vela Star System. Yes, that would well, be the right direction. He's very willing to believe him. Captain, if you say it's true, how do you explain that huge alien starship you're flying? Ah. And why are you here? This part of the story is even less believable than the first. But <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be going along with us so far. So let's let's see how far we can push our luck. Um, ancient seem gullible. <laughs> yeah. So we had the magic um, precursor, ancient factory that built a spaceship. Ah, fight the Urquan. win back our freedom. Yeah. I remember having such thoughts myself once, long time ago. That was in the first years after the defeat, when it was still terrifying to look up and see the bloody glow of the pulsating mm. slave shield overhead. So day and night we gazed up at the impenetrable wall as though the sheer power... Oh, it's like that Simpsons movie. Down. Under the dome. years I spent so much of my time struggling down on the surface, under the shield, and then later up here... That so bad. Alive, ...that I'd forgotten what it means to be free, to hate our Urquan masters. And now here you are. In an alien ship of unknown power, it's really powerful. Systems ...to fight against the hierarchy again yeah. after all these years. Captain, your offer is intriguing. Gotcha. It's tempting to think that with your advanced precursor technology, we can somehow crack the Earth's slave shield and reassemble the Alliance to attack the hierarchy. And this time, win the damn war. Right. Consider the consequences if you should fail. Well, I'll put you back in the shield. Urquan won't just punish us here on the station. They'll exact a gruesome retribution on the surface below as well. Before I commit this station to helping you attack mm. the Urquan and accepting the risk of annihilation if we are defeated, I have to make sure that you and your ship have what it takes to oppose the hierarchy. Hey, trust me. I'll make you a deal. If you can eliminate the alien base on the moon and get rid of that threat at least, I will seriously consider your mm. offer. Um, 
Yeah, tell me more about the fleet on the moon. I need to know what I'm getting into. Erected the slave shield around the Earth and established this space station. They decided to leave a contingent of combat ships close to the Earth to keep watch on our planet and confirm that they were obeying the Erkwan slave law. I'm certain they're still out there on the surface of the moon because we can pick up a constant stream of alien broadcasts. Okay. Um. So those are my options. Repeat what you just said, or go do it. So I guess I'll go do it. I don't feel like I'm ready. Like, I don't like the sound of the Illrath Avengers. I don't know why they haven't come after you yet, but when they do, you better have your weapons armed and your thrusters burning hot. I'd like to get some kind of upgrade first. I don't really know how powerful this chip is. Have we got, we've got weapons, right? Mm. Are they terrible weapons? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I hope everyone can like hear all the voice acting and music and it's loud enough. If, if not, let us know yeah, in the chat. Yeah, do let us know in the chat. Is, this game's got a lot of good music and a lot of voice acting. So actually, this game... You might want to go forwards. Oh yeah, interesting. Uh, this game originally came out without any of this sound. Oh my gosh, you had to read everything. Yes, but Ugh. when they ported it to the 3DO... What's the 3DO? The 3DO. Do you remember the 3DO? It was a games console about? that was fucking garbage. <laughs> That passed me by. They re they did full voice acting. Wow. That must have cost a fortune. Well, it must have, yeah, it must have done. But I think it was one of these games that, like... It was so popular. Well, I don't know if it was popular as much as... Was it the only game that console had? I think the game... <laughs> it it, was like it the, sounds like one of the guys who are working at 3DO went, oh, I love this game. Can, <laughs> right. we, can we get it? And the guy was like, sure, whatever. <laughs> and then it got ported over. But Amazing. I think it was an old game even at that point. Wow. Anyway. So, so head, head to the to the moon. I'm you sure. Reckon? Yeah, oh, well, I'm not we confident have... in my little pew pews. Yeah, don't worry. We'll okay, I know a few maneuvers. It's fine. Yeah, I know forwards. That's the maneuver I know. This <laughs> forwards. A drift. I can do the the Tokyo drift. Um, scan. Coming at you, boy. Auto scan. Cool. Like some garbage minerals, some energy, and some biologicals. Okay. Um, try dispatch. Um, what's this biological? Let's find out. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, they like security droids. They don't look good. Can I? Pew, pew, pew. How do I? Ah. Oh, that's awkward control scheme. Right. Okay. Uh, ooh. It's like their base. What else have we got? No, it's just, just stuff I've already got. Nothing. Nothing super important. Can I blow up that, that base? Uh, there no. it is. Is yeah. that going to set an alarm just, off if just I attack it? it? Okay. Report from surface. <laughs> we have discovered an alien base and have explored its interior. The installation must have been abandoned many years ago, but great care has been taken to make it appear active. Life support systems are functioning. Fusion mm. generators are at full output, and robotic construction vehicles have <laughs> been programmed to roam the lunar surface. Bulldozing moon dust into random piles. Oh, in so addition, they're pretending they're here. We have found the installation's hyperwave locked in transmit mode, endlessly playing the same alien recording. Oh, so old gullible on the moon on the space station. I feel like he should have noticed it was a loop. Although we cannot translate the message, our Xenotech ends in Rigby mm -hmm. believes that the message is some kind of alert or mayday broadcast. Oh. Oh, so it's not a trick, it's... The base is filled with useful materials and equipment. We will scavenge as much as we can and bring it aboard immediately. End of report. So are you my ship's computer, or like my first officer? I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm Edson Rigby. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, cool, so it's not a trick. They're not pretending to be here. They actually had some kind of problem. And gave out a mayday. Um, so what are those drones up to? Shall I go and play with the drones? They just endlessly drive around and play with moon dust. They just programmed. They didn't drop it. anything when I killed them, did they? No, nope. no drops. Okay, so let's um get out of here, navigate. Cool. So um, okay, charred soldier on the on the space station, because apparently Earth's been under the dome for like a really long time, and he fought in the war, so he must have been really young. Uh, we found the base. Oh no, shall I lie? Tell him I'm a badass. Killed them all. He'll find out. No, he won't find out. He hasn't got a ship. Yeah, we, we fucked him up good, mate. Them, Captain? Yeah. I hope you didn't suffer serious casualties. No, I'm, I'm the best. Um, so I lied. It was too horrible for words. Um, it, was, it was a tough fight. 
Yeah, really tough fight. I'm delighted to hear it, Captain. I wish I could have been there. Captain, you don't. listen closely. Long-range sensors show a ship closing on this station fast. Our computer identifies it as Ilrath, Avenger class. I think you've got a fight on your hands, Captain. Your best bet is to wait until you have point blank range. Ooh. Captain, it's just jamming our signal. Oh man. Okay. By the fetid breath of the dark twin, Kazan, a human and an alien. Human. How fascinating. Yeah. When I intercepted that Urquan drone and learned that an unidentified starship had approached Earth, uh, I never expected to find such a remarkable vehicle in the hands of a human. I love it when aliens say human. Animals, weak and helpless. But here is a human in an armed starship. You betcha. And therefore, in direct violation of the oath of fealty. Man, you better check I yourself. Sure will you wreck yourself? Masters, the Orquan will punish Earth most severely for this treachery. When I present them with the twisted wreckage of your ship and your many charred corpses. Uh, right, so we can say, where the hell did you come from? But well, I think I know. Um... It'll be a pleasure blasting your face. Surrender. You will be annihilated. Yeah, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and scare him because of my big powerful super ship. Um so just give it up, chump. I'm gonna wreck your as face. As your ship may be, our sensors reveal how few weapons you have on board. This One's all you need. Crude, and our cloak of darkness is non-functional. <laughs> We still have more than a terrible tactician. You all. Don't tell me you're crippled. His cloak of darkness is non-functional. Brilliant. Okay, so you can what pick got? either. Got belt. Uh, uh, belt's the captain of the. So belt's the captain of that original enterprise. You can send that in, or you can send the bad. Can we send both? In. No, just one. It's one at a time. Okay, send the big boy in. We don't want to lose the little civilian ship. Okay, so fly out the way. Ooh, ooh, oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. oh my God! That's it, you lose the game. <laughs> he just wrecked me. My turning circle was, like, crazy. <laughs> I was, like, ramming. I was holding down right, and it was just like... Mwah. <laughs> turning so slowly. Oh, my God. I got... We didn't even save. Well, thank you for joining us. What? Why didn't we save? On today's... Um, Today's Star Control stream. This game is not an easy game. Why didn't you watch me? <laughs> I was just gonna get fucking flamethrowered. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Oh shit, me. Oh man. You, you should have told me to save. Jeez. Okay. Can we like? Is there a way to like skip dialogue? Can we r like race through back to where we were in like ten minutes? Probably. Yeah. So where were we? Oh, this is right at the start. Okay. So we have to do everything again. That's fine, fine. We don't have to get everything. We'll just go to Mercury and get the nuclear material. And then we'll race through the conversations. And we'll be back where we were. It'll take like five minutes, tops. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is exactly... Right, shall we do some, you do some donations while I'm catching I'll up? I'll read some all donations. Okay. All right. So um, we churn. Uh, resubbed. Good job. He says, more money for the XCOM project. Don't worry, XCOM will return. Uh, we've got a new subscriber, Super Luigi's. He's subscribed. Welcome aboard, Super Luigi's. And we've got Sea Pig 21. Sea Pig's brother, Sea Pig. There's a lot of families with the same name out there, you know. Here I wrote a short backstory, but there isn't enough room, so put it up on paste bin. Sweet. I will check that out later, man. Oh shit, so someone has written a backstory for their XCOM character. Yeah, yeah. We're we'll, not playing XCOM today. We'll, yeah, but we'll save that for the next XCOM and stick him in and read it out. Will we? Yeah, I will. Sam, okay. can you like grab that paste bin right, thing and just stick it in my stuff folder or something? Um, uh, we've got uh, Leaf Crux has subscribed. Welcome aboard. We've got uh, Weecher. Um, such a wonderful game. I hope to see it again. I got it myself after Lewis played it with Duncan some years ago. Kick some alien butt. 
I don't know if he's talking about this or XCOM. Yeah, this. So did we you play and Duncan played this. Um, we only we didn't get very far, mm. and then did you get the, further than no, us? No, the computer got formatted and we lost the save. Oh so shit! We got further than this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally fell at the first hurdle, didn't I? Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> it's not easy, the combat in this. Oh, so now we got got um, Keeny Beast. It's donated. Thank you. Bridley! I'm on the final episode of Peaky Blinders Season 3. I'm teaching in nine hours, currently working in Thailand. And I'm sure this will be worth it. Ben, you're such a dad and I love it. Wow. I, thanks, I guess. Um, it's good to be a dad. Um... We've got STMino, subbed again, resubbed. Welcome aboard. It's good to have you here. We've got um, Meatkite has subscribed. Good for you. Uh, we've got Big Guns Never Tires back. Um, he says, buy the Cyrene Commander Lady something nice for $3. Probably a Kit Kat or something. Oh, the Cyrene Man, thanks for supporting the retro game stream. Who's the Cyrene Commander? You'll find out. Oh, man, is she sexy? Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, then we got the, the Dabini118 resubbed. Thank you. So, yeah, anyone who's got um, Amazon Prime, you probably already know this, but um, they're giving you one free sub. So, if you haven't used that and you didn't know, use your Amazon Prime sub. I think there's a good chance people know by now. They probably do. It's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Yeah. All right. Is that everyone? That's all the donations. We're up to date. Yeah, we're up to date. Well, we're almost back to where we were. Yeah, you see, it didn't take long. It only took like a moment. Let's very quickly save it. <laughs> Just in case I mess it up as well. Yeah. So I think maybe I should do this combat. Okay. You can do yeah, you can be like Worf. And I'll be Picard. You bought them, Captain? I'm and then... Uh, okay. Uh... It would be a pleasure no blasting your ugly you face know. out of the stars. So, um... So what happens if we turn the little one in? Does that not well, end the game if it does? this is a entirely. Right. Um, and it has different abilities. What's it do? Five nukes. Well, oh! Oh, so that, like, just kites them. This is a way better ship! <laughs> Holy go. shit! Well, if I'd known that had super heat-seeking missiles... <laughs> wow! <laughs> blown away like that since the battle in Draco! I guess yeah. you've shown that you can handle Good yourself work, in battle, Commander. Captain. So my last reservation about helping you has been dissolved. I will commit this station to helping free Earth and defeat the Urquan. We may get our atoms rearranged in the process, but by God, Captain, we're going to try. Yeah, it's going to be better than just so hanging around in a... To get the dying in a box. ...software over here so that we can make it work with our ship repair fabricators. Mm. But then what, Captain? Right, so we can kick butt. Or, trust me, I have a plan. Or, we will slowly build our strength. Yeah, this sounds the third one. We will slowly build our strength, unify an allied Starfleet, and bring the Urquan to their knee equivalents. <laughs> 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 Hopefully they're like the um, the changelings in Star Trek VI, who have their balls in their knees. Oh, shit, we'll yes. We'll get to kneel down on their own bollocks. That's the plan. That's what we're going to make him do. <laughs> yeah. A sensible plan, Captain. Let's get so you keep it secret, buddy. Don't tell anyone well, you're in league Captain, with us. I think we need a name for this new alliance. Yeah. And since it was your idea, it's only fair that you get the honor of naming oh, it. Oh, we should have had this as a donation thing. No, you have to pick. Oh, you can't write it in. Um, the Empire of Ben Solo. That's not going to go down so well with everyone. You don't um, think so. Yeah, it's a bit of a PR nightmare, that one, I think. Mm. Um, well, I think... You know, you've got the uniform for it. It's all of the United Federation of Planets. That has a familiar ring to <laughs> it. <laughs> sure does. we'll make it so. The United Federation of Worlds. Now, Captain, I expect a configuration process for the Starbase to take at least two weeks, so okay. let's get to work. So where are we now? 20th of February. So I'll see you early March. I have good news to report, Captain. Oh, we have successfully integrated the precursor technology from your ship into our fabricator system. Nice. And as you can see, we've already begun minor repairs on your ship, patching up some of the micrometeorite holes. We noticed that your ship does not have an emergency warp escape unit, so our engineers rigged up some for you nice. and each of your escorts. Now you should be able to escape from it's a like bad battle star jump with the touch of a button. The rocket's fly past. There is a cost, however. The unit gulps up five fuel units each time your precursor Ouch. ship uses it. 
Also, we now have a limited capacity to make modifications to your ship, to refine starship fuel, to build additional combat ships, and to train new members of your crew for the flagship and any ships you acquire for your fleet. Amazing. Captain, I know you're eager to get to work, so I'll be brief. If you have any questions how this starbase works, what resources we need, or just some background information on the galaxy, don't hesitate to ask. You betcha. Uh, I have minerals. So if you do uh -oh. that, you'll sell your minerals. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, is there any reason not to? Nope. The more cool. minerals you bring us, Captain, the faster we'll be able to tackle the Urquan. Nice. Um, give me a bit more info. Captain. I don't know what's going what on. You need to know? Pretty much everything. Um, what do you reckon? How can we defeat the Urquan? Can you be more specific? Um, no, apparently not. Um, what would you do? Hmm, let's see. You need to build up and balance the strength of your flagship. I would add thrusters up to, say, five or six. Speed is essential in combat, but it would also pay off over the long haul in hyperspace. And if you prefer to avoid confrontation, nothing beats a great pair of legs. Can't argue with that. I would add turning jets for increased maneuverability. Yes. I would add enough weapons to defend yourself if you're caught without escort ships. You need additional fuel, at least 50 units. Your weapons will be underpowered in combat if you don't have at least one dynamo. Use the resource Fuck units you have accumulated to improve your flagship. Right. That is a long shopping list. You're basically telling me my ship is a pile of garbage. <laughs> it is. It's <laughs> fucking trash. <laughs> right. Um, right, where can I get minerals? If you have the patience, I would recommend you spend several months or even a year gathering Jeez. mineral resources. Right. You can find such minerals on almost any planet surface, but the quality and density will vary depending upon the type of planet you're on. Base metals are probably the most common materials you'll find, but they aren't particularly valuable. You can find rarer precious and radioactive elements on metal-rich worlds such as Mercury. An old miner once told me that you could tell the relative quality of a planet's minerals based on the planet's color as seen from space. Indeed. Remember the color sequence from good to bad. The miner had a mnemonic that went something like, very young orangutan could grow bananas perhaps rather well. <laughs> <laughs> so easy to remember. Yes, yeah, of course. Stars. Temperature is related to the size and color of a star. <laughs> Red stars are the coolest, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and the hottest stars are white. Right, so I'm looking for a young orangutan planet. Looking um, for bananas. Bananas. Oh, right, that, that's the high end. So blue planets. No, very young orangutans. Can grow bananas rather well. Like to grow bananas rather well. White is the last one, I guess. Um, so is white good or bad? Oh. Very, I guess, is violet. Young is yellow. Orangutans is O. He could have told me. <laughs> That's not a self-explanatory, is it? What was it? Are particularly good at growing It's not even in a spectrum. Bananas. It's not like cold to hot. It's not like blue to red. No. It's all jumbled up. Okay. I, made, I, I, <laughs> forgot, I forgot that I need to have a notepad for this game. <laughs> Shit. You keep talking to okay. the guy, and I'll get a notepad. Right. Um, sweet, what do I do with aliens? Whom you meet, doesn't it, Captain? Yeah, it sure does. In all seriousness, if you encounter the Ilrap, Vox, Androsynth, or other hierarchy battle thralls, I wouldn't hold out much hope okay. for a peaceful encounter. So Trying to you remember. you have the advantage, attack. The resources you will scavenge from the enemy's wreckage are well worth the effort. Okay, if this is like an FTL kind of jobby. If you in a position to help us, then you must convince them Loved to join FTL. with us. Such a good game. Their assistance may be crucial to our success. Okay. What else can I tell you? Um. What like was the, the demonic? Is there anything um, else you need? Hungry orangutans eat bananas. Could you ask him again? <laughs> 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 hang on, hang on. Who's escape? Oh shit. Um, young orangutans. Certainly, Captain. What do you need to know? No, it's gone forever. Can someone else remember? Yeah, yeah. Keggers has got us covered. He says very young orangutans can grow bananas rather well. So, violet, I guess, is violet yellow, yeah. orange. What's C? Um, maybe that's just an extra word they stuck in? Cyan? Green? Oh, maybe. Blue? Red? White? Okay. And, and we then want the star systems. Star systems were like hot, were cold to hot. But which one's good and which one's bad? Um, hot's good. 
Right, so what's the hottest? So, like, uh, white is the best. What was the hot? And you, um, you guys can tell red. us. Red. Red's good. Isn't red, like, red giant? Aren't they the coldest stars? Red giants. I'm pretty sure white's, like, the hottest stars, right? Yeah. And then yellow? Let us know in chat. All yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Go on, so go exit okay. out to the right. facilities. I'm done, mate. Is there anything I'm else done. Need? Yeah, give me some upgrades. How do I... Hang on. How do I buy upgrades? Goodbye, Captain. Okay. So... You want to go... Here we go. Oh! Oh, oh sorry. Shit. You pressed the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, I pressed the wrong thing. Sorry. Help me! Help me, number one! Goodbye. Okay, just wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you can chat to him and do quests, or we can go... Outfit Starship. Right, that one. Okay, you... you, you so... Um, I need I need fuel. All right, so click fuel. Boop. And press up, I think. Or okay, how much does it cost? Uh, it's out resource units. It's cost oh, 20. 20. Oh, okay, let's just get all of them. So let's get maximum fuel. Let's max out fuel. So hold it down. 60. Okay, cool. Okay, sweet. Oh, oops. Right. Um, module. What, what module right, can so we you have? Can, you can move right and left. Right. Oh, okay, and work through. I've got a fuel tank. I've got a storage bay. And I've got a ion bolt gun. Right. Sweet. So do we have a dynamo? Oh, and I can go up here. Turning jets. Oh god, it's, it's loads, it's loads of bits. Uh, we've got a planet lander. We only got one of them. That's not. Really and we cool. can't. I can't go to the top bit. I guess that's a profile shot. Yeah, that's just a profile shot. Right. Okay. Um. So, what? Is it just? Can I put anything in this slot? Crew pod, storage pod, fuel tank. Dy there's a dynamo. How much have we got? We got two thousand. Crew pod. Right, so there's not that many different upgrades we can get just yet. Um, he said we needed a dynamo if we want weapons, but it looks like our escort ship is just really, really good. It's so, okay, yeah. Um, I'd want thrusters instead, so I can actually steer this bad boy. Um, turning jets. You've just taken one off. Oh. That's alright. Shit. Just add it back on. It's oh, it's oh cool, it doesn't... Oh, okay, we don't lose anything. No. Sweet. Uh, does it matter where they go? Nope. Does it affect my turning? Nope. Okay, cool. Um, bam. Let's stick... Double my turnings. Um, and then... What else do I want? You probably want the storage bay, because then that will allow us to carry twice as much ore before we have to come right, around again. Right, right. Okay. Um, so where do you want to put that? Does There's it a matter? storage bay in the middle. You can put, put it with the other storage bay. Yeah, let's keep the cargo hold together. Boop. Nice. Okay. 498, it's not really enough to buy anything else. Planet lander, nothing else we can put in the hold yet. Um, what else can we put in these slots? Anti-matter thrusters. They give you better forward boost, right. which is obviously very useful. Okay, um, and actually, I can't afford any of them. It makes going around exploring the galaxy a lot, yeah, a lot easier nice, once yeah. you've upgraded this ship a bit. Okay, you have more guns, of course, and oh, um, you can off. sell the guns too. Okay, we should probably keep a gun. If, yeah, in case of emergency. Yeah. But Fruit pod. Okay, I think we're done for now. All right, hit escape then, um, and get back out to the menu. Right. You might as well save it while you're here. Yeah. Save. Uh, cool. Game menu. Cool. What was the... Uh, did anyone get the... Fo eight, the um, oh, the, the, the order stars. Of stars, yeah. Just interested. Um, we'll find out. Right, nothing yet. But what about the shipyard? I want to see how much ships cost. Oh, yeah, so you can buy... Oh, man, ships. I can buy, like, an, an Enterprise type thing. Crew. So crew, crew is... Three. You take crew damage if you take damage. So if you get shot... Oh, every time you get hit, you lose crew. Yeah. Which is basically, like, your, your health. Yeah. Okay, can we go over 50? Um... Boop. No, we're at the max. See, that's a, a crew pod and it's full. Right, right. Okay, okay, cool. So let's get out of that. Um, is that all we can do here? Yeah. Oh. What about this ship here? It's 18. That's uh, the one we've well got. You can actually... You can't... Obviously, I think the ship you haven't got any... Uh, can't buy any at the moment. Right, it? okay, cool. We'll come back for that later then. And we'll get out. Okay, so... You're free. I'm free. It's an open world. Yeah, you have to collect <laughs> minerals. Venus. Venus. It's green though. Green's. It's green good? Green's in the middle. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, what have we got? No energy. No biology. Now, before you dispatch. Yeah. Look at the weather and look at the temperature. Oh, it's a million degrees. Does that mean we'll insta die or just more fireballs? Well, you can dispatch down there and have a look, but okay. hover over the escape key right. when you dispatch. Okay. If it's really bad, you can just grab one of these blue things. Out. Oh my god, it's a hellscape. Press escape. Whew. 
Which one of those is my health? Uh, well, you just lost eight crew and oh, you almost died. <laughs> oh my god! That that almost got this. That Lander almost oh, died. Oh my god! So I just sent an had... away team to to, to to their deaths. Just saying that. Yeah, you could send them down again, but eight people did die. Yeah, and there wasn't fast enough to. No, we're done, mate. We're done. <laughs> Fucking done with Venus. And um, but you got some ammonia. Is that good? We'll have a look at the manifest. See if it's okay. Oh, there we go. Manifest cargo. Is it's that shit? It's the lowest <laughs> possible. Shit. So if I checked that before going down, I'd have known not to bother. Okay. Well, crewmen cost three each. Actually, press, three times press, eight is press cargo. So this is the order, right? Violet, orange, yellow, cyan, green, well, that's blue, not yellow. red, white. Uh, well, it's not quite the right order. So no. this is the same, I guess, the, the, oh, the order of these luxuries. So there's the three same. different colour orders. Yeah. It's, cl it's close to the order, violet being the best. <laughs> yeah. um, so hang on. Crewman costs three, so eight crew members are 24. Yeah. And that, I got 18. Yeah. So that was an inefficient expenditure of human life. That was a if loss. I was Captain Robot. If you were, yeah, that's generally. <laughs> but you've had to spend fuel as well. Oh yeah. Spend I think five fuel or something. Not the five, but maybe. No maybe. two. I spent two fuel, which was forty bucks. Oh geez, it's just not worth going down to get um like shit, shit stuff. No, probably not. Um. So what's good is 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 this one good? Orange. I no, know. orangutans. That's that's bad, right? Uh, orangutans is the third one. Violet, yellow, orangutan. Oh, this is a moon, though. It's Saturn. Yeah. Saturn, is that Titan? I'm sure Saturn had more moons. It has a lot of but... moons. It's got like, I don't know, 20 or something. It's got millions. Um, scan. I'm sure someone in chat has already wikipedia that and corrected me. Well, you can't land on this because it's a gas giant. Oh, can I not harvest it in any way? Nope, it doesn't have any way, any stuff on it at all. Well, screw you, Saturn. So is this going to be Europa or Titan? Place your bets. Please bet it's one of those two. Bets. It's actually... It's... Saturn again! <laughs> okay. It just says Saturn. Fine. No, it's Titan, there you go. Oh, it's Titan, top. yeah, nice. Okay, so there's some garbage metals. And that's it. Screw you, Titan. You ain't worth the fuel, I don't think. How much was garbage metals? Weigh three each. Oh, but there might be like 20 in each one, mightn't there? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should real quick. Have a look. Have a little look. Usually it's worth taking one trip, even to get like... Oh, there's lightning. Ah! How many? We lost two men. Jesus, this planet is dangerous. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, okay. Let's get out of here. This is already a very dangerous space adventure. <laughs> we haven't even really encountered anything, and half, well, 10% of our, no, 20% of our crew. We've have, lost a bunch of crew. Have died harvesting garbage minerals. Out of the sol, out of the sol system. Out of probably the safest system, star system in the, in the galaxy. So I think, imagine your ship is like a pen. Okay, and the yeah. tip is what interacts with things. Right. So as long as you can get the tip over... <laughs> Just the tip. Yeah, just That's all the, you need. Yeah, just get the tip in. Then the rest will sort itself out. Then you'll be flying, flying good. <laughs> uh, no, Neptune, no good. So you should learn now that gas giants. Neptune's not a gas giant. Neptune's a gas giant. Yeah. I thought it was like an ice ball. No, it's a gas giant. Oh, whoops. Gas giants don't have any. Okay. You can't land on them. Right. It's hopefully got a moon though, right? It doesn't mm. mean that you should. Ignore gas giants from now on, but just don't try to does. mine them, unless you've got a reason to go to one. Right. Okay. Um, nah, not worth the risk. Okay. So what else have we got in the Earth system? Um, Jupiter's a gas giant. It's Pluto. This is before Pluto got demoted, so maybe we can find a, a little Pluto. It used to be a planet back in the nineties. It did, but still might be too small for the game. Everyone loves Pluto. Yeah, he's like the underdog. Everyone's got a soft spot for old Pluto. But uh, I can't see. Oh, no, there it is. It's a little purple one. Turn around. We're heading for Pluto. Oh, man. And then that's it, isn't it? Is, um, how do you say Uranus? Do you say Uranus or Uranus? Who's Uranus? <laughs> <laughs> I am, of course, talking about your ass, not the planet. Um, Sam, is there any way to get the monitor in here working? Or is it busted, by the way? This is second monitor. Good job. Just, just as a note, uh, side note. Pluto's scan. Auto scan Pluto's. Oh, you've got a purple. 
You're very, very cold, Pluto. That purple's good, though. Let's grab. Snatch that purple and get out of there before anyone dies. We, I mean, I feel bad for these red shirts. I'm definitely putting, like, Ensign... And some Billy Bob, mm -hmm. and some Chump Face. All the people you've never heard of and likely will never see again. Whoop, we're out of here. Well, that actually second scan there was an energy scan, not a mineral scan. Oh, what is it then? What's in my uh, manifest? Did you go and collect it? Yeah, we got five. No, five you, missed, you, missed a, you missed a dot. Did I? Yeah, look, go back. Oh, I wanted to get out of there before I froze to death. No, there was uh, no weather that's killing you, though. There was no thing down there. Oh, I thought because it was so cold, like there'd be something coming no, totally, to get me. No, it's totally fine. Oh, so go what's... scan. Um, okay. Uh, Water scan. scan. See, that's the mineral scan. Yeah. This is the energy scan. Dot. Uh, Did you see that dot? Yeah, I thought it was, um, I thought it was like metals. Is it worth getting? Well, it's an energy scan. But is energy good? Is it worth the two fuel? The fuel or whatever? Oh. Oh, it's a thing. It's not an... an right. Mayday from right. surface. Oh, I see. I thought it was a resource. So you have just lost 10 crew. What? Or oh, however many that is. 8 crew. We have come under fire from an alien vessel we found hiding on the surface of Pluto. Captain, they killed Kowalski, Fritz, Chin, O'Donnell, Luigi, and all three of the Lieberman oh, triplets. Luigi, he donated earlier. We have returned fire, but our stunner can't penetrate the ship's hull armor. Well, GG guys, I'm gonna be a banana. We are initiating emergency <laughs> launch procedures. End of transmission. Shit. So, just leave it? Oh. Oh, the spathy band? You are going to torture me, so let's just get this over with right now. No. The coordinates oh, okay. of my home world, Spatewa, are 241.6 Good work, number one. The power of note-taking. Mm, I wouldn't have thought to do that. And apparently anyone you meet. These guys are great. I was uh, so startled when it approached my vessel in a threatening manner that uh, my automated defense systems fired on it when it got too close. I hope nobody got hurt. Oh, yeah, like nine people died. Um. Well, he's already identified himself. I don't know why that's an option. I'll try it. I'll talk to him. Of course, of course. Identify yourself. These guys seem like surrender monkeys. I don't get them to give me stuff. Which you are no doubt here to conquer. And while you are certainly welcome to do so, we would be greatly appreciative if you would please just go away and forget this star system ever existed. Well, it's the human star system. It will greatly complicate our master slave relationship with the Earth One. Will station us here to watch over the Earth. Why did they station the surrender monkeys to watch over them? Um, I think, well, considering it annihilated our landing vehicle and we couldn't hurt it, we probably don't actually want to fight these guys. They're probably better than us. But they're rolling on their backs and showing their bellies. Um. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna walk away. I don't fancy another fight. We haven't upgraded our weapons or anything. Phew, thanks. For a minute there, I thought you were going to kill me. What are you doing on Pluto? Twenty years ago, this region of space was dominated by a loose confederation known as the Alliance of yeah. Three Stars, which was composed of the alien native to these parts who did not want to be enslaved. They made a valiant effort against the superior Earthman forces. It even looked like they might miraculously defeat the combined Urquan Armada, right up to the point at which the Urquan totally defeated, <laughs> indeed, annihilated them. Right, but what do you answer the question? What are you when doing the here? Urquan Armada entered the system to subjugate formerly the Earthlings. The Urquan presented the humans with the standard slave actions. Join the hierarchy, 
and come back round and retain some autonomy, including the right to travel through space, yep, yep, or yep. become a fellow species and return to a pre-atomic savagery on the surface of their homeworld, encased for all time beneath an impenetrable force shield. The humans chose the latter option, and so were swiftly imprisoned on the surface of Earth. But the Earth one didn't trust them to obey the restrictions. So, they chose a small group of hierarchy... Can I change my mind and kill him? <laughs> it's quite annoying. <laughs> the so-called Earth Guard and stationed them at a bench... You're a terrible Earth, Earth Guard. Moon. You just surrendered to an Earthling. Like, come on. Right, just answer the question, you weird... Originally, Green we were stationed man. on Earth's moon, which made us study a bit uneasy, because with each passing day we grew more and more worried about the sneaky Earthlings making a surprise mm. attack. So the Iterate kept telling us that it was impossible, since the Earthlings had no ships or weapons whatsoever. That made us feel a bit better, but when the Illrath left again, we grew fearful. You're and a terrible battle throw. <laughs> 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 if you conquered the... Space French surrender monkeys. Would you trust them to guard anything? Um. Right, what happened to the other guys who are with you? Oh, I'm enjoying all the uh, bodega esque space chat. <laughs> it's good fun. Have received a direct order from their gods of evil and darkness. Wow, they sound but like fun. With the and wanted them to kill or at least torture someone soon. <laughs> Personally, I believe they just got bored and went up to have some fun. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, come join us. Yeah, we could do with an annoying surrendering slug boy. Well, I really want to. Sweet. Not sure that under the present circumstances, joining you in your exciting and also dangerous adventures would be the best course of action right now, because the Oricon could return at any minute, and the punishment they would bestow on me for such treason would make any other horrible death seem like big fun by comparison. Thanks for the offer, though. That's a shame. Uh... Do you think we can take him? What's your tactical analysis? Uh, I'd rather we didn't, but if you can... He might have information. Yeah. He's already given us the home world of his race and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their secret, secret code frequency. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Do you think he'll just surrender immediately if I attack him? Or will I actually have to fight? No. I'm pretty sure there is a way to get him to join you. Yeah. That's what I remember. Talk, so say, where are the Urquan now? Yeah, what's going on with the Urquan? Because they seem to not be involved so with anything right now. I'm pretty sure the like, there's a conversation the option that, lets, that, that, that does convince him, does bring him round. Well, we'll have to come back later, once we've um, defeated some Urquan. Uh, do you know anything about other alien races? Yeah, sure. We only know bits and pieces of what happened at each race. For instance, when you hit it, the Yahat joined the hierarchy as combat rounds, while the Cyrene chose to be slave shielded on a planet in the Bug Squirt star system. No, that's not right. I forget its name. Anyway, where was I? Oh, Bug yes, Squirt. The <laughs> they were utterly wiped out in a gigantic blaze of glory. Wow. Let's so find out more about that blaze of glory. Sure, I knew that. Jesus. Okay. Kamikaze guys. Oh my god, the ultimate Kamikaze move. Wiped out their whole planet just to take a few ships with them. <clears throat> what about yourself? Yeah, what about you guys? Mm -hmm. you mean me, personally? Well, nice of you to ask. What was I he doing with his clothes? 
Hatching, the youngest child of a family of 18,487. My male parents had to work hard to support us very hard, yeah. but each of my brothers and sisters and I tried to help out to make Good. ends meet. The female parent was kind and sweet to all of us. Wow. Why, she once even called me by name. She said, I did not ask for this backstory. <laughs> oh, cherish it. Brilliant. Oh, it's heartwarming. It's like rags to riches. My God, he's like Billy Elliot. Keep all your siblings out, I assume. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Oh my god, I'm definitely going to kill him. He's the worst. Oh, it just keeps going. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh no! Then what happened? You got press ganged. I'm no good at staying straight. But now you're the captain? I've been relieved of my sons and convinced to join <laughs> the Navy. Well, I have been unpleasantly... Oh my god, so he got press ganged into some kind of, like, years. bilge crew. And now he's the captain after 25 years. That's what an amazing story. I think he might join us now. <laughs> really, now that we've had his tedious story. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Exactly. I'll listen to all your stories. Well, no, Lewis will. That's his new responsibility. I hope you're ready for your new duties, First Officer. <laughs> your official liaison to boring slug guy. Join the human! Kind of good! <laughs> He's Gollum now! He's fucking Gollum! <laughs> Don't listen to Gollum. Well, what if we listen to some more boring stories? Maybe. Why are you cringing so much? It's just. Well, this isn't really what we asked about. He's just rambling. Brilliant. Then what? What happened to the other? Okay, wait, while he's talking, chat, should we kill him or keep trying to recruit him? What do you reckon? Tell us in chat, because there's like a 10, 20 second lag. So um, tell us now, and then we'll keep listening. Is this ultimate Yeah, tell us about the ultimate evil, jeez. Are still a bit obscure, since it looks just outside the range of even the most sensitive long-range detectors, Shit. which we feel gives conclusive evidence as to the ultimate <laughs> evil. <laughs> ultimate evil! <laughs> um, yeah, why are you still here? It was our most powerful and unforgiving master, the Orphan, who stationed us here. We knew it would be grossly stupid to disobey them completely, but we decided it would be okay to send just one ship home. We use one of our most ancient and solemn rituals, Hoon Taki, to pick the lucky ship. Then, some months later, we decided that it wouldn't really hurt if we sent one more ship home. Oh, he's got away with words, isn't he? <laughs> and then another. 
Well, you get the idea. Oh, I do, I do. Alas, as fate would have it, when the final ritual was performed, mm-hmm. I, Barufo, was left here alone. For as even the most miniature in wrestling knows, there must always be one spotter who puts the short top on the Well, of course. It's the only way I'd have it. Um, that is to say, scores and perhaps even hundreds of my brethren strive to... Do you not even know? You're the captain. Do you not have a little thing on the screen that says... Destruction-oriented star ship, which could lay siege to an entire planetary oh, okay. system. So you should we choose to do so? Probably shouldn't attack him. Fortunately for you, we have decided not to do today. I am undone. You are far too good like me, good, good negotiating. <laughs> What's chat saying? Right, okay, chat chat wants to recruit. They love the little squirming wormy guy. Jesus. <laughs> chat wants to recruit him, do they? Yeah. I'm enjoying the way he says ultimate evil. He keeps that up. Maybe you can look at him. So he's the only fucking one on board. <sighs> How true, Captain. How true. In truth, just between us, during the past seven years, I have been... No wonder he's a bit mental and rambly. And yet now, I find myself... <laughs> This witty dialogue and the presence of your huge, powerful, mm. death-dealing starship, which, being my friend, you would certainly feel compelled to use in order to save me from any hostile life forms who threatened me with death. Yeah, we'll protect you from the evil. Uh, we asked that. Um, well, no, I don't we were so. pushing up into hyperspace 18 years ago. We ask them that very question. <laughs> they just increase their throttle and get away from you as quickly as they can. Real soon. <laughs> Real soon. Wow. It's terrifying. So, okay. Yeah, basically. Um, Happy days and jubilation. I discard all the prejudice and Okay, so we made friends with them by listening to all his stories. <laughs> sure. I must yeah. wax melancholy for just a moment, though. And make sure you understand that any other spotty ships we meet at large in the galaxy are not going to be quite so responsive to your friendly gestures as myself. Yeah, you clearly gone mental. Yeah, because you've clearly gone mental. ...of Aquan in and are also apt to talk themselves out of a line with a totally unknown alien, which I, having been left here alone, cannot do. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard. Um, we have a spathy eluder. So, chat, you, you did this to yourselves. <laughs> if um, if you're sick of his voice, sorry. I don't think we're going to um, talk to Fwifo much more, but that having him on on the crew will make our lives a lot easier. Yeah, can I have a look at his ship? Loser is a very, very good ship. Roster, is that... It's just got one. So it's one on out of thirty. It. Yeah, can we you see? Can, you can change that. I think. You press if you press on that, then you press up. I think. Or like, can you like? Can you? Oh yeah, it? I can send so crew can over. Crew right, I'm it. just using moving you over, so you can talk to him all day. Can you move a few more? Just, <laughs> just in case we need to fight something. Okay. How many? How many friends do you want? Like Fifteen like? will do for now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, so you don't have to talk to him every day. Okay. Everyone, take, everyone takes a shift. <laughs> you're on your talking duty today. Um, one day a week, uh. everyone's got to do it. Here we go. See, look, it's all yeah, happening. we've got a little, we got a little battle star flotilla. I love it. I love it. Right, how do we move on with our lives? Navigate. Okay. And we have to get minerals. So um, now let's head out into the world, into the start. So okay. fly off. The, do I have uh, to get out of the system to go to hyperspace? Yeah. So actually, I think yeah, I think you might do. I'm not sure how it works. If you just press star map, um, and then ah, that, so navigate to like a star that's nearby. Oh, no, well, not this juicy white one over here. Oh, there's now, a little white one nearby. I think our range. See, uh, see our range. It tells how much fuel it is to go somewhere. So right. if, you, if you move the thing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So that's so going to cost us twenty fuel to get out right. there. Right. Twenty five. And then we'll have fuel. to come back to like you have refuel to come back. and stuff. Well, there's a little white one, the Sirius. Well, let's go to Sirius. How accurate is this? Is this red one, Beetlejuice? Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri. No, I thought that was going to be the closest star. Did you hear? You know what? You know what he said earlier. About what? He said a lot of things, Lewis. He said about a better system. But he couldn't remember the name of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. He said. He was called like spit, spit thing. Bug, bug spit. Bug squirt. Bug squirt. Oh, did he mean Beetlejuice? Oh. Ah, because that's nearby. That's a red. Well, it should be a red star near us. Hmm. Well, we'll keep an eye out for it. Look I'm just gonna check all the little red ones that are near us. That's Alpha. Look. I'm surprised. Uh, Alpha Wolf. I'm surprised uh, Alpha Centauri isn't um, isn't the closest. But I might be wrong about that. Gamma Sirius. It might not even be red. I mean, I don't know why I'm looking at just the red ones. I think Beatrice is out there, but I don't know where it is. Okay. It's Look. somewhere, but you'll have to get some coordinates for it. Yeah. Not so we have the coordinates for the sp Spathy Homeworld. Okay. But we can. That's we a can... good catch. I did not um, did not clock that at all. Okay. So we're going to avoid their their circles. I'm just going to go to this. I'm going to go to Sirius. So hit enter. And I think press enter a couple of times, maybe. Okay. It doesn't work. So uh, I guess we have bar? to just there go we back go. Out. Autopilot. Oh, is it done? Okay. It? Yeah, spacebar to hyperspace. Okay, so, so we're out of here. What it will do is it will just fly you there on autopilot. Okay, will that take days it. off our clock? So it will turn slowly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, the uh, the time star date's increasing. I cannot read that though. What's how does that star date work? No, that's the coordinates. Oh, oh right. This is serious. Right, so we're in March. Uh, March. March fifteen, twenty one fifty five. Oh yeah, there you go. Um. So yeah, I think stuff does happen over time, actually. So the longer you take to do stuff, so the... The Starbase took a while to like refit itself. So things do happen planet. in the world, in the, uni in the galaxy. Well, yeah, that, that drone's going to come so back with a that's a yellow fleet. ship, that, a yellow planet. So this is, this is second best. Oh, amazing. If, if, if the colour for planets... If we got it right. If, if it's right. Uh, scan. Auto scans. Loads oh. of green. Look at all that green. No energy signatures. However, there's quite a lot no of biological. tectonics. It's a thousand degrees down there. And it's a thousand degrees. So whoever we send down will die. Is that, is that what's going to happen? Is it instant death? Well, just mash escape. <laughs> Are you sure? If we, lose the landing, if we lose the landing craft, we lose all the people on board and the craft itself. Yes, then right? we won't be able to mine anything until we go back home and sell stuff. Okay, maybe we shouldn't go down. Well, you could dispatch... You could just so about it. Is if you dispatch onto a green... You land near a green, so you won't land on the green, but you'll right. land. Hopefully, you'll land on the green, okay. and then it's just mash escape. Oh, it's it's pretty bad. Okay, we go twenty terbium. That's not bad. Okay, I didn't. We didn't lose anyone. Yes, you did. Did we? You got. You, oh, we. Oh, save. thank God! Yeah, I'm not going through that conversation again. Save. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, save. we really should have saved. Save, 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 save. You, save. Almost, you almost lost that lander. <sighs> Okay. I don't think we lost anyone. Yeah, you're down to 18 crew now. We were always down to 18 because we put some mates with you on uh, Greenie's ship. You definitely lost a few guys. No, I don't think I did. Uh, right, we're done here. I'm not going down to Death World. You got some of the it's green like a stuff. What's demon the green class stuff? planet. That's that. Oh, hang on. Oh is... no! Come what are you back. doing? I'm, I'm overshooting that green thing. What green thing? There's a little green. Oh, that's a star. I thought it was a moon. It's not a moon. Whoops. Oh, thanks, we man. don't want cheats, Steve. <laughs> Honestly, Steve is looking up cheats. <laughs> I do not want cheats. It's, this is exact cheats. Get out of there, Steve. <laughs> no, no, no. Get. I don't want. I'm not looking. I'm go. not looking. Oh, Steve, I can't believe it. Right, green is green's worth it. five a piece. Yeah. So there we go. So that's pretty good. So we got um a hundred bucks off that. So oh, it's the awesome. blue ones that are the light blue ones that are actually the worst. The grey right. ones are not as bad. Yeah. And the red ones are shit. Right, so red and like bluey grey are no good. Yeah, red and light blue are, are no good. Right. Um, okay, let's uh, navigate. That's the one. Whew. Oh, I need an engine upgrade. Yeah, that'll be one of the first things we get, I think. Once we get some crew. Yeah, we need some new guys. crew. Another wave of f fresh red shirts. So um, is there no other planets around this? Like this is star? it. Shit. So we, can we upgrade our lander to like survive better on planets? Is that a thing? Uh, no. Oh, so those those hot planets are always just super dangerous. Yep. Okay. Where would you like to go? Uh, well, yellows are good, but just pick dangerous. somewhere. What else is good? Just, Orange. We, could, we just might no. as well explore. I don't know what Blue. what colours of stars are best. Actually, you'll honestly. go to Canopus. 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 So I'm, I'm going to make a note of the places that we visited so we don't revisit them. Ah, oh, good thinking. So, serious. Okay. Visited. Engage! Uh, I'm sure I'll forget after a while. We have to visit a lot of places. The more minerals, the better. Right. So, 
so yeah, we can do some donations because it's pretty yeah. much just flying around. Um, uh, so what have we got? We got Concord resubbed. Good job. We've got a new subscriber, uh, John Patalan, ninety-seven. Welcome aboard. We got Diddy Tufo subscribed. Thank you very much. What's this? Is it just a star? No, there's a blue orbit. Something orbits it. I don't know. Do you want to fly while I read out more donations? Yeah, I'll, I'll fly for a bit. Okay. And you take the take the helm. This is just this is just collecting resources, so this will be pretty slow. So we got our Bumblebee Tuners back. Good to see you, man. No XCOM, shame. Two things though, when you do start your XCOM game up again, remember to do the custom layout of the base option. It's yeah, got a little we, Jesus we kept forgetting face. to do that. Yeah, look at this. Um, I said it last week, but Ben wasn't in the room. Will you play XCOM Apocalypse at some point? I had a 3DO. Wow, never even heard of a 3DO, but Bumblebee Tuna had one. Um, XCOM Apocalypse is a funny one. I'd like to give it a go for old time's sake, just so we can do all the XCOMs. But it's just nowhere near as good as the other two. Ultramarine World. Ooh, cool, cool place. Nice. There's loads of stuff. I'd love so, to. Um, I'd love yeah, to. Yeah, XCOM Apocalypse is a funny one. I mean, um, the thing that does it for me the, the most is that the aliens kind of suck until the late game. The early game aliens are just terrible and not a threat, apart from the head crabs. So as long as you can deal with the head crabs, everything else is, is a joke. Um, so I don't like the early game too much, but we can give it a go. I don't know if Lewis has played it very much. So um, XCOM Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, we, we should do it one week. Yeah, we'll give it a go. It's it's a blast, actually. I mean, I'd love to see what your strategy is, because I had strategies for it, like yeah. getting all the bikes and stuff, sending them out in a big swarm. Right, nice. I had, like, strats for it. Every week, I'd, I'd have the Tuesday morning raid on the Cult of Sirius. So there's this cult of Sirius that worship the aliens. And right. every Tuesday morning, ex operatives would kick down the doors to their church and just steal all their shit and murder all their security guards. Just something fun you could do. So Canopus is done. But I ticked, I'm surprised tick. they weren't more ready for me, to be honest. I made it such a regular pattern. I'm heading to Alpha Lyrae. I'm just going to just just systematically see if there's any good shit in any of these cool. places. That sounds good to me. Just fill our cargo hold up. And then head home. So that was a decent haul from that that place. It was green yeah, stuff. Yeah, got some green stuff. So green stuff is... Does everything take up the same amount of cargo space? Yes. Right, so you don't want to clog it up with garbage. You can chuck stuff, though, I think. Oh, okay. Just chuck crap stuff if you... Yeah. Even I got to dump my cargo sometimes. That's the cargo space there below the queue, the crew. Oh, okay, so we've got two grey slots. Yeah. And one's, like, half full. Yeah. Sweet. So we've got a new subscriber. Uh, King Big B one subscribed. Thank you very much. We got um, maggot sperm. That um, sounds horrible. That does sound disgusting, <laughs> but it's good to see you there. Um, we got Scuba John resubbing. Says sup gang. We got Wrong Heaven Two resubbed. Man, everyone's getting the resubs in. It's good stuff. Uh, we got Kazar eight three one. He's back once again. Uh, you mean to tell me that these surrender monkey aliens have been watching us the whole time we were being invaded by floaters and deep ones, and they did nothing to help kill them? Ah, oh, I love the idea that this is in the same universe as the first XCOM playthrough. Oh shit, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, what a bunch of jerks. Now, but there is a thing with this game, okay? Mm -hmm. Basically, what you do is, if you've, if you've not got enough cargo space for the last one, mm -hmm. it will only give you a reduced amount, but it will use up the node. So it would have only given me like nine whole minutes. Right, so, so if you're right on the edge. Yeah. Then, um, so cool. I figured I'd just... Ah, pro, pro tips. I like pro it. Tips. Um, Alophason resubbed. Thank you. And he says, this alien is a little too phallic for me. Well, I don't know what your ding looks like, man, but... <laughs> I don't see it myself. Which one are you talking about? I think he's talking about the green guy. Oh, really? We stuck the, um, on him for a long time. Yeah, yeah. everyone's chatting about him. Um, Jack... Jarcock the Burninator. Yeah, Jarcor. He's back. Jarcor, Jarcor sorry. Uh, he says, please kill Wolfo. I'm paying you to, please. <laughs> Wolfo? Shit, sorry, man. I well, he might die anyway. Yeah, we'll send him in first in the next fight. How does that sound? His, sh his ship is going in first every fight. <laughs> yeah, even though you're aboard. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good fight. It's a good ship to fight with. Okay, cool. Um, who else we got? Uh, we got Nomina Matt, resubscribed. Thank you very much. We got who cares, two one two one. He's back, resubbing. Back once again, like a renegade master. Uh, Steve, can we get some some more? We got Orwin subscribing. Uh, he's a new subscriber. Welcome. Welcome, new subscriber. And last of all, this. we've got another new sub. We got Smile and Squeeze. Cool. Good to see new folks coming in. 
Welcome to Lewis and Ben Why Save the World from subscribe classic retro games. Honestly, I'm just... We're not saving the world from classic retro games. We're saving <laughs> Earth from <laughs> the slave shield. Just being a bit careful there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Good we're moves. half full. It's going well. Mm -hmm. That's another. That's another. That's another place down. Alpha Lyrae is done. I'm gonna head off to Beta Lyrae now. Okay. And then we'll be able to. Um, yeah, it's just. It's just. We're just exploring. Just working on. Yeah. Working on, got of um, space of the Ilrath and Spathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're not careful there. Get into um, a fight. Is there any way we can get into a fight with like something quite easy and um, get some loot? We've well, beat we up will, some I'm space sure we will end up bumping. Oh, see, there's a dot on the map. What's the dot? Another ship. We're we being intercepted. Oh my god! What is it? Red alert! Shields! Counter in deep space. Well, there's a planet there. It's not that deep. Oh, converse. How does this work? Oh, oh hailing goodness. frequencies! We come in peace. Man, turn. giant crystal monsters. Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> I reach out an appendage of friendship. Mission description follows. Reverse space reporting data. Seek materials for replication. Oh. Replicate to expand scope of mission. Are they like Found a grey goo? Forms in peaceful manner. After ten replications, return to point of origin. End of mission description. Priority what? override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component. Oh, well, they are like a grey goo. That's just gonna like. Self-replicate and devour the universe. Okay, who's who's the ship for the job? We have to send out Green Boy, yeah? He's out there. Right. What right. is happening? They're the blue one, right? Yeah. Okay, what have we got? What's our what's our gun? Well Tactical Report. He's got a lightning gun. He has. And so if you go off the bottom, do you come out the top? So how would yeah. Oh my god, what so is the, so Sparthy eluders have two weapons. They have a front laser. Right. Which is really bad. Yeah, really that just looks terrible. Garbage. Bloop. And we have a BUTT missile that fires out the back. Okay, has that got a cooldown, or do we just like? It uses this. It uses oh. this. Oh, took a bit of damage there. Shit. It uses this energy thing. Oh man, we lost this like a battery. So we lost three crew, and our battery's down. Is the battery also our shields? Oh, we're dying here. Oh man, can you retreat? No. Oh shit. It's fine. Don't worry, I've got this. You got them twitch, twitch skills. I just need to get some butt missiles on him. Why do they sound like farts? <laughs> Give him the butts. He's tough, isn't he? Look. Yeah, they, the, the range isn't He's good on those. Away. Like, he just backs off. You've got to be really close, and then you get into his, his lightning range. Like, what about our other ship with the seeking missiles? They'd yeah, be better, wouldn't be, they? That might be better. No, he's better than us at point blank oh, range. We've got a couple of hits on him, We've though. We've only got two crew. There's only two. It's literally you and Green Guy left. I'm going to have to escape pod out, I think. What happens then? Do we lose the ship? He comes. He moves so oddly. That's the yeah. He's unpredictable. Shit. What's that like? Orange stuff. Is that our thrusters? Yeah. Oh shit! He got oh. defended by an asteroid. Shit. Oh my god! This is quite intense. The way the camera like. It was like directed like a Bourne film. He moves so like, so oddly. Yeah, you can't predict that. <laughs> Give him the butts. More butts. I don't want to lose our fucking spathy elude at this no, early. No, no. Well, I don't know. A jack with a burninator would like you to. But he's, he's well, we've hardly hurt him. He's not. He's only half dead. What does um? What does battery mean? That lightning is so dangerous. Yeah, you're down to one guy. You can't do this, man. Pull up, pull out. Eject! Eject! Maybe I'll, maybe we'll get him to the front. Eject! Just not the range, and it's just so no, bad. You can't. You it's can't. So get his short range gun is so much better than yours. Get out of there. Whoa! Oh! Lewis. We're close down. Shit. Well, Jarkor. Oh, you shit. Oh, my God. Pump, get away. Get away. Thrusters. Engage thrusters. He's down to two. We're down to our garbage cap like mothership. That's right. We haven't even got the dynamo on the lasers. We haven't saved for ages. Just... Oh my god! Give him! Give him the business! Give oh. it to him! Oh. Oh. Shit. That was really hard. Fuck. That was brutal. We got 500 bucks out of it. We need more crew. We can't take another fight like that.
Return, return to base. Oh Shit, my god, this, this is unforgiving, isn't it? Oh my god. Did you see that? There was another... Yeah. <sighs> okay. Cool. Fill up the cargo holds and head, head, head for home. This is, this is getting a bit, too, a bit too tight. Can we repair those ships or are they gone forever now? They're gone. Oh we lost God. them. We lost Fwifo. We lost our, lost our colony ship. Can't reload this plane Iron Man. Can't reload. Oh, man. It's a disaster. This is what happens. This is what happens. It's tough. It's a tough game. Jeez. It's unforgiving. Well, Jarkor's happy oh. at least. Oh, this is decent. There's a ruby world here with them. Um... Oh my god. This game is like super chill until it's like the most fucking intense thing in the world. There's such a jarring like difference. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Whew. Oh, don't worry, we've got some purple stuff here. This looks like really good stuff. Sweet. Okay, well, we only want... After this landing craft takes its crew, we only have two men left on the ship. So um, don't go down on any dangerous worlds. Oh shit, we've got two men left. Well, plus the landing craft. So don't 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 go down on a fire planet or anything. It's just not worth the risk. So give me the story of like what happened in that battle. So okay. like, the RP the RP the story. RP story is we were cruising along in a, like our flotilla formation, and um, intercept course this mysterious crystal ship. We talked to them, found out there's this grey goo monster that wants to dis disintegrate everything it finds. So oh <laughs> god, he's dead on the screen. Rip. Um. And then, uh, so we armed armed weapons battle stations, sent in whatever his name was, Flavin Garvin, Flyfo, Flyfo, Flyfo Mofo, um, and um, he thought he could handle it. He was like, he'd, he'd given up his surrender monkey ways, despite me on the comms telling him to pull out. He was like, no, I'm a hero. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die a hero. No more cowardice for me. And then, blam, went down. He ripped it apart, but he couldn't couldn't seal the deal. We did, we did like half damage to it. Yeah, yeah, took it down and then um, our science ship, whatever that, that thing was called, that came in to like pick up the wreckage and try and um, rescue the survivors from the ship and just got wrecked, got like ambushed, basically. It thought it was safe to go in and pick up the wreckage and find survivors, but it wasn't. The, the replicators were lying in wait behind an asteroid and just jumped out and wrecked it immediately. Which, um, then it came straight after our, um, our battle star, our capital ship. Um, no, like, seeking weakness, hungry for blood, it taken down our two escorts already. But luckily, luckily the captain here, this guy, knows what he's doing. Did a few manoeuvres. We lost, we almost, we almost yeah. died. I know, you lost another crewman. We haven't got many left. There's only a couple of chump red shirts left on this ship, and then we're going to start getting down to people who matter. So... Oh, right, it's just going to be me and you left. <laughs> yeah, it's the we're bridge crew. we pilot this, probably. Oh... Um. Uh, we're here now. Grey isn't the worst. Big load of greys is okay. Alright. It's better than nothing. Full full tank of greys. That's the... They're worth like three, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. We've got plenty of cargo to fill up at least. Yeah, alright. Okay. Next. Oh, God. I'm still not, still not relaxed from that fight. That was... That thing just lightning and zigzagging like a crazy. It it comes it it, it moves so awkwardly. Yeah, like it's you like fucking random. have no idea which way it's gonna go. I think this is a good way of doing it, like having you on the combat controls, because I I get wrecked. Well, I mean, I fucking got I got I got wrecked. I mean, like fucking the Earth and Cruiser didn't stand a chance. It just spawns in. It just got jumped. Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> You're like sweating now. Yeah, this is like, um, did you ever see that Voyager episode, uh, The Year of Hell? Oh, yeah. That Feels was a bit like that. Such a good episode, that was. Yeah. We're just like limping back home, getting like harried all the way. Mm. Man, Voyager did some good stuff. Sometimes. But yeah, Voyager was a funny one, wasn't it? It was really hit and miss. There were some it was amazing very hit and miss. episodes and some absolute garbage tier stuff. It didn't help that most of the characters were awful. Like, Tom Paris and Kim, Ensign Kim, were just the worst. There's a lot of planets to go through. Wow. There's a new Star Trek in the works, a new TV series. Is there? Yeah, I don't know much about it. I'm excited, though. 
it's been a long time since it's been like a Star Trek type show on telly. Yeah. I watched some more Westworld. Have you been yeah, following Yeah, I caught it? up. I'm halfway, I haven't finished the latest episode actually. I watched mm. a bit of it this morning. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. Mm. I have no idea where it's going. That's the thing. I think that's, I'm, I am starting to feel a bit of a lost vibe. Like if they don't give, start giving me some more information soon, I'm going to get annoyed. They're being very coy about what's happening. It's a little bit vague. Yeah. I kind of like that. See, that time I landed miles from where I came down. Oh, man, these are such tiny blobs. Mm. Would you go to Westworld if um, if it existed? Would you go shoot some shoot some oh, chumps? It's, it's a bit spooky, isn't it? Because I, I know from the TV show, it doesn't... I guess it's just got the vibe of... It doesn't, also, it doesn't feel that safe. Like, I'm not sure what's yeah. real in it. You well, know? you don't know who's a person and who's a robot, do you? Well, I'm not sure whether, like, a snake can actually bite you. Well, they say it's 100% safe. Yeah, well, I mean, it has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like Alton Towers. People only die very occasionally. I'm not sure people die even occasionally at Alton Towers. Someone lost their legs, like, last year. It's pretty grim. Someone just, lo lo just had their legs chopped off. They got, like, crushed and... They can't walk again. Well, people get injured and killed sometimes at anything, though. There's that thing with Disney, isn't there, though? That, like, no one, yeah, no, no one's died ever at died at Disney World because they have a secret tunnel that they and they don't have a doctor on site. The doctor lives, like, hangs out just outside the bounds of Disneyland. So someone dies, they go in the secret tunnel out of Disneyland, then the doctor declares time of death. So technically, on all the paperwork, they didn't die until they got out of the park, even if they died way before. That's red. That's the absolute worst. Ah, uh, okay, good. Red, red, red feels like it should be juicy. You know, it does, big red it? bubbles look, but yeah, look, look valuable. Red is the abs no, no, oh, red is the second, second worst. worst. I've okay. accidentally collected some shit. Yeah, uh, it looks so that. similar to the um, got to, to the metal. Thirty nine exotic. Though. Oh, That's brilliant! Pretty good. Hopefully, we can just about afford to replace our losses with that. We should be able to get some upgrades for that. Actually, that's, that's okay. a pretty good haul. Brilliant, because crew's actually surprisingly cheap in this, isn't it? People, yeah, for is some it? reason. I don't know where we're getting them from. No, because it's only whoever lives on that space station, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because we can't get them from anywhere. So are there are thousands of people on that space station? I don't know. Maybe uh, That's why they're so happy to volunteer, though. They've been trapped in that space station for years with nothing to do. Oh, shit, that's the purple one here. Look, just tiny one. Wanking over the same old porn every time. Well, they can't wait to get out. Maybe they socialise with each other. Maybe they don't watch porn at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is the future, Ben. It is. But surely that just means they spend all their time on their phones. Black Mirror style. <laughs> Maybe we watch world. the new Black Mirror. Uh, no, we won't talk about the new Black Mirror either. Okay, like, spoilers. Oh, man, spoilers. It's only just come out, hasn't it? That's why I haven't been watching Black uh, Westworld. Cause I've been watching that. But uh, then again, like I'm streaming so much and doing so much so so late. I like yeah, you. I get up day, at like you? you know eight. I like come yeah. into the office. We play Civ. Then I'm recording Minecraft with Duncan all afternoon. And I'm streaming, and I get home at like half nine, so it's like fucking hour. Man, I have like yeah. an hour. It's been a really busy couple of weeks for you, actually, hasn't it? To do. Is that it? Is that everyone? Uh, I think so. I have got that purple one. I got that one first of all. Yeah, I think I've got all of them. Okay, let's go home. Now, where's home? I think it's there. All right, we haven't got a full full tank, but we're we're we're. We got a lot. I don't think we, yeah, we shouldn't risk too many more jumps in case we get like ambushed by more space grey goo replicators. We might get be able to get a new Oh shit. Oh immediately get jumped by something. <laughs> Fuck. We need better scanners or something, I don't know. Oh shit. It's Is one it the of same these. one again? We've got the super jump, haven't we? The escape jump. Oh yeah, we have. You're not that friendly though, are you? Like Um should we try? Why do you attack us? Should we just leave? Not even get into it. Well, you can't if you leave that attack. So. Oh, okay. Um, why? Why? Why fight? Follows dictated priorities. Replication. Data gathering. Contact in alien life forms in peaceful. You say peaceful. Ah, uh, there you go. New behavior dictated. So it's like um, Prime Directive in Robocop. Materials. Can't argue with that shit. So I think if we just can we, can we FTL? I'm using Hyperspace. It. Hyperspace. I'm trying to use it. Jump. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, fucking hell. We nearly died so hard there. Should we save? Save, 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 save. I think we just need to limp back to Earth. Save. First. Do you know how long that fucking hyper jump took? Ages. Took fucking ages. Like if we have to do it again, we will die. 
Don't worry, I think we can limp back. It's just like the, every episode of Battlestar, isn't it? When they jump away and the missiles like just miss them. And they nearly die. <sighs> Fuck me. I didn't realise we'd have this much trouble. Oh, we made it back to Earth though! Yeah, I know, it's your go. Oh, right. oh I think, well, I'll save thank it. fuck. I didn't, I didn't know if we were going to make it. Wow, well, we made it back. All right, okay. you're in charge. All right. I've got Thanks. five crew left. Okay, so it's you, me, the communications guy, the engineer, Scotty. It's obviously just the bridge crew. And like, it's Kazar 831. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like it. Yeah. Uh. Oh, man. It's been a rough ride, guys. But you know what? We're going to get some more red shirts. It's going to be great. Um, so go to the commander. Hello. Captain, I'm glad you're back. Me too. I know you're busy, but I've got some news. What you got? We are being bathed in a broad beam hyperwave transmission from the direction of the Rigel star oh, system. Okay. Due to the broadcast wide dispersion, we cannot discern its content. Okay, give me, give me monies. We've got space bucks. Not a bad job, Captain. Nice, got over three grand. Um, so you can say goodbye. So he basically said visit well, Rigel. Captain. There's okay. some sort Check of weird, out some weird coming shit. from there. Okay. Uh, Outfetch the starship. Right, crew, immediately. So the crew is the other one. It's the shipyard. Oh. Um, no, no, no ships to buy. Oh, what? oh we can buy an Earthling cruiser for oh, 1,100. Yeah. Might be worth it. Is, it. is it worth it? Are they any good? No. Well, they're okay. I mean, against certain ships, they're pretty good. They did pretty well in the first battle and fucking awful in the second. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of money. Let's see how much we've got left after we've got bar crew and all that. Um, oh, how? So click on that and so Right, there we go. Okay. Man, if this had a mouse, <laughs> it'd be so much easier. <laughs> okay, um, right, and then we'll, we'll get out of here. That turns me on. Oh. Um, Starship. Full fuel? Yeah, well, we used half of it and we barely went anywhere. So. Yeah, fuel. You need that fuel. Uh, modules. What do we want? More engine? I Could can't I? remember this, but. Antimatter thrusters. I think ones, thrusters would probably be a useful thing to have. Should we, should we upgrade our gun now that we're the only ship? Get the dynamo. That probably wouldn't be the worst thing, would it? Well, should we put an, a, a dynamo and a gun? 2,000 for the dynamo. Oh, 2,000 for the gun. We can't afford both. What's better? Two shit guns or one good gun? I fucking have no idea. <laughs> okay. Press dynamo unit. Mm, I don't know what that actually does. See, it says nose gun, spread none, side none, tail nut. See what I mean? Oh, so we shoot out of our front. Yeah. That means. Um, but it doesn't, doesn't change our stats. Oh, what am I doing? Ah, uh, fucking it up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's best because if we buy, if we buy one of these, we can't buy the ship. We can't buy the other ship. We need some speed. Yeah, we so need we speed. So we can put two thrusters on. Okay. Um, boop. Yeah, one of them. Um, boop. One of them. And then we can't afford anything else. Oh, we can afford the other ship. And not upgrade our guns. That wouldn't hurt. Is another planet lander any good? Why would we want two? No, yeah, that wouldn't hurt either. What's it for? What does it do? Well, if you get one blown up by accident. Oh, right, yeah. Which can happen when you're trying to grab like valuable stuff. Yeah, maybe we should. Okay, let's buy a, a well, planet it costs lander. 500, so that's and then how much it costs us if we lose it by accident. And then we'll buy a, a cruiser. Oh. I think you have to do it through crew. Uh, Thling, human, crew, cruiser, crew for cruiser. Sweet. Okay. We're good. All right. Depart. Sweet. Right. Um, it's going well. Is it? We've lost yeah. two ships. Well. And and gained a, another landing craft. It's what happens. <laughs> okay. It's sure. just what happens. Right. Where's Where's Rigel? That is a big star, old Alpha Centauri. Yeah, it's a Might big boy. Zeta there. Centauri. You'd think he'd tell me where Rigel was if it's if he'd been picking up. What's that one next to Epsilon Gygax? Oh, I and see. It's a, it's, a, it's, 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 it's a big a, cluster it's a of them. It's a trinary system. Zeta Rigel Gygax. might be... 
I know it's just vaguely near us. It's a star I know is... Try that orange one above us. Beta Wolf. Alpha Wolf. Rigel, there we go. Bam. Yeah, go for it. Engage. Okay. Off we go. Doesn't feel faster. I guess that's our autopilot. Maybe we're faster manually. I don't think you've actually engaged. I think you're just drifting. Oh. You didn't press space. Oh, whoops. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't press it again. I did. I pressed space. Definitely press space. Press enter. And then press space. Yeah, that did it. Enter and space. Right, right. That's, this okay. is faster. Yeah. So you have to plot it first, and then space will take you there. Hmm. Kazar's uh, donated again. He's saying, I'm trying to imagine a scenario which is funnier. The Millennium Falcon, run by Han Solo and Commander Riker, or the Enterprise, run by Picard and Chewie. Hmm. I want to see the Enterprise with Picard and Chewie. Because Picard delegates a lot to Riker, doesn't he? So um, He does. I'd, so so Chewie would just be like, <laughs> Every time. You're off the bridge, number one. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts pointing at stuff. <laughs> Data's all confused. <laughs> Data would understand him completely. Yeah, that's true. God, I'm spooked. Ah, uh, Wolf. Wolf and Chewie might have a sizing up of each other. I'm no good at staying straight. That'd be fun. Holy crap. Do you think Riker would argue a lot with Han Solo? Um, Wouldn't stand for his shit. Ooh. I think Riker and Han Solo would do There's fine. There's a thing. There's a thing. What do I do? It's just a thing. Oh, okay. It's not going to chase me. It looks like it's like doing its own shit. Okay. It's not coming for you, is it? So no. don't Should panic. we check it out? Let's check this out first. Oh, stuff. What's grey mean? It's just a, probably a gas giant, isn't it? Find it's out. got this many planets. It's exciting. It's a gas giant. Rigel 2. Rigel 2. Scanning Rigel 2. No. Nothing. Nada. Um. Uh, scan. Fuck all. This place is shit. Just navigate. You didn't know what you were talking about, Starbase Commander. He's probably talking about that thing that's moving around that planet. Well, so he said they they sent us a message. Yeah. So there's some garbage metal. Forget it. Nope. Out of here. Okay, we'll finish this little um, cluster of moons and then we'll go check out the, the thing we Bob. Yeah. It seems like sometimes if they've got poor stuff, they're all going to be poor. It's funny yeah. like that, isn't it? Clustered, oh, it's a noble they? world. Oh. Ooh. There's some blues. They look okay. Sweet. Let's do it. Blues are worth dispatch. collecting. They sort of blend in with the background a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully it's safe. Oh, no, there's bad badnesses. Oh, so it's full of noble gases. Sweet. Get them gas. All right. Oh. Get up. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ensign, Ensign Big B. Ensign, Ensign Rola. Rip. That'll do. Cool. I don't think you need that last one. I have. Lost it. Got, got caught in a little earthquake. But... No pain, no gain. That's no it. risk, no reward. Told him. Told him it was pretty dangerous out in the universe. Ugh. Right, trash. Get out. Yeah, if you find any biologicals, sometimes it is worth... Oh, did, were there biologicals? Mm, no, there were no biologicals okay. there. You've done the inner one. Might as well do the inner uh, one over here. Oh, man. Need to get those turning thrusters back up. Ooh. What is it? Purple, purple gas giant? Can't remember. Uh, planet one. Auto scan. Purple world. Fuck all. Yeah, there's quite a lot of fuck all though. It's nah, probably it's worth, worth the fuel, it. isn't it? Yeah. See ya. Move on. Can't be asked to collect all that grey crap. <laughs> it's just tedious. I suppose it could be worse. All right, let's go check out the thing, me, Bob. Right, so it's sending us waves. 
Yeah. Can I mean, the captain did send another. you there, so... Yeah. Maybe an ultimate troll if it, um... If it's death, wouldn't it? Hello. Greetings. Red alert. Shields up. What we got? Converse. Hello. Starship. We are the Stockpot Pit. Make no hostile actions. No worries. We come in peace and with goodwill. Okay. But if you make one false move, you're vapor. Don't worry. My companion is just a bit nervous. No, I'm not. And argumentative. No, I'm not. We are a scout vessel dispatched from our home world. We have traveled far through hostile, uncharted space. To find pretty you. different for we beings of the from same the world. Dwarf star at oh, pen. Far far. Oh. Aha! Pahoy hoy! No. Pahoy hoy! In their coordinate system. Oh, uh, <clears throat> coordinates 400.0 by 543.7. Okay. <laughs> so, sure. you could say various things. Which one would you like? Um. Oh, very interesting. I'm gonna say, which one of you is fought? He is. No, she is. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, Who the hell are, are these guys? Right. We've been through this a million times. That doesn't change anything. You're the fought. Well, Captain, as you can see, this is a point of some contention. Right. Fought. Critical information, this. Um, yeah, what are your intentions? I am from the United Federation of Worlds. Hooray! Who the hell are you? Yes, we finally found our saviors. Maybe. At last, our search is over. It they're going to join us. The great crystal ones promised. They were sneaky. I think they're lying. Quiet, fool. The great crystal ones. See, the replicators look like they're made of crystal. This ship is from the great crystal ones, Fable Alliance. The Alliance of Free Stars. Yeah, I'm the chosen one. Maybe. Sure. Um. Tell me, tell me more. In our ancient past, four species evolved intelligence on our homeworld. Simultaneously. They were the Zot, the Fox, the Pit, and the Zabrank. We three, the mm. Zot, Fox, and Pit, evolved in such a way as to acquire sustenance from many sources. <laughs> from airborne dull plankton, from solar and ambient energy, and from rocky fungal clingers. Our favorite. The Zabranki also consumed a variety of food, namely the Zot, the Fox, and the Pit. To survive the predations of the Zabranki, we banded together, annihilated the Zabranki, and formed the cooperative oh, union we you. now encounter. Can we do that again? We're going to see Uh, what do you want? We are a relatively peaceful group of species. Unless we're angry. Sure. So we find ourselves in need of help. We only need a little because of our desperate situation. Desperate is too strong a word. I think trouble sounds more like it. All right, what's going on? Our planets are under attack from an invading horde. Who is it? We do not know who they oh. are or why they are here. We are being blown to bits. Fleets of alien ships appear out of nowhere, then unleash terrible destructive energy. Shit. Fortunately, they release these energies on each other. Unfortunately, they favor combat near strong gravity wells. Their stray shots regularly strike. Who's the middle one talking? Planet, often with tragic results. Fortunately, they have never found our homeworld, only our colony planet. Unfortunately, <laughs> all our colonies have perished as a consequence. Shit. Hey, uh, space yeah. is a tough place where wimps eat flaming plasma death. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, tough break, guys. Um, who is it, though? It might be the Urquan. Urquan. Yeah. Huge green battleship which Maybe. Wave after wave of small fighters. The other ships are black as space, and their hulls are carved with strange alien writing. In combat, the two ships seem evenly matched. One fires blasts of fusion energy, while the other launches spinning projectiles. All right, um, tough shit, boys. I got my own problems. Sounds like you're getting wrecked. Um, oh dear! I told you he looked like a creep. No, 
We must try to understand. His ways are not like our own. You mean his whole species are jerks? Let us give him one more chance. Just look at him. He's a killer, <laughs> I tell you. Um, right, what do you want? These are the words we have prayed for. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a waste after all. More than anything, we seek an ally to help us survive in this... We're already universe. fighting the whole... Quan... Drathi... There's like millions of races we're already fighting. Do we really need to take on two more? They look just like us, though. Fly to the star called Alpha Tukane. The planet closest to the sun is our home. And if possible, hurry! Hmm. Okay. Get right on it. So, this is Zotfop Pick. Zotfop Pick. Zotfop Pick, they're a bunch they of uh, fucking weird alien dudes. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to help them, to be honest. Like, they're getting wrecked by people who are really powerful. Do we want more enemies? Just to get some lame allies? Maybe we can take them. Might be worth checking out. Yeah. Better than nothing. Okay, so uh, how do I... I go boop, boop, boop. Now, um, how far away is it? Where... It's oh. It's called Alpha Tucane. Do we need to like go around this orange thing? Um, this one here. Like, we don't want to well, go through spathy space, do we? I'm guessing we would get intercepted on the way. Also, that costs 30 fuel to get there. If that's if we take the most direct route. So we might need a bigger fuel tank before we even take that mission, because we wouldn't be able to get back. No, but another fuel tank would double our fuel, though. Yeah. Okay. Still, that looks quite far away, doesn't it? Well, double our fuel will be fine, because if we go... Let's say we jump to like this green star here. That's 16.6. .6, and then we jump from there to here, which is like 35. So that's 40. It's like 50 fuel to get there. And then 50 fuel to get back to here. And then... Where's Earth? Is this Earth? Yeah, yeah, next to the series, yeah. So that's another seven. So we need like 60 fuel. No, hang on. What am I talking about? We need like 100. God, even with an extra fuel tank, it's tight. We have to take a really efficient route. This is tight. It's tight. And we we out, to... We're already out this way, so let's go to those ones near. Yeah, what, the orange one? Clear out these three. What's better, yeah. orange or red? Yeah, we'll just clear them all out, shall we? All right. See which one's got anything good in. I don't think orange or... I think orange has decent in it. Hopefully we won't get killed. Won't get killed. All right, do you want to read some things? Yeah, we got uh, Jarko the Burninator. He says thanks. I think he's pretty happy that we got the green guy killed. Oh shit! For uh, Wiffo. We got um, Rip, praise. Let me on. <laughs> we got um, praise the sun all day. Resubbed for eleven months. He says hi. Hello. Hi. We got a new sub, Burgundy Five. Welcome aboard. Uh, we got another new sub. El Noco Grande has subscribed. Welcome cool. aboard. Um, and then we've got Wyvern, or Yivan, who's donated for the beautiful new member, Yogg's Van. Oh, we've set up a van. Yeah, I actually went out to, to get it myself. That's oh, did you drive it? Yeah, no, no, I drove um, to it to check it out and buy it, and then... I had Mike in the car with me, and he drove it back. Right. It's a two-man job, buying vans. It's um, a dad job, isn't it? It's such a dad job. <laughs> who, did you, who did you buy it off? Uh, this dealership outside Reading. Um, but the first van is a much more exciting story. So that was the second van we looked at that we ended up buying, for unknown reasons that will become clear in the not-too-distant future. But the first van we looked at was uh, in Birmingham. And that was just like literally think of the most shittest, rundown, murdery, rapey van you can imagine. Like okay. serial killer has owned it for forty years and never taken care of it at all. It's like just just complete trash. There's animals on this one. Ooh, what do they do? They attack you. Yeah. Do they drop sweet loot? Might be really tectonic down here though. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Get that's, out. That's what are, did you see the killer bunnies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. We are leaving. Oh, man. Well, we know there's biologicals on that planet if we're fucking desperate for them. Do we need them? Or do they fill out missions sometimes and stuff? Uh, I didn't have to make a note of it. All right. If 
we're really desperate. Oh. So yeah, super super rapey van five thousand was was a no go. Um, is it really that bad? Well, it, like, it was that bad, but we were still willing to take it. And we took it for a test drive, and it was it was fine. It drove, um, but once we dropped it, we well, came back and we were waiting to fill out the paperwork, and it started leaking diesel all over the floor. Fuck me. So the guy, we were like, that that doesn't look right. And the guy was like, oh, it's it's fine. That's just from when we changed the oil earlier. It's stripped down. And we were like, no, no, no. We've parked in a different place to where it was before after the test drive. That's new. So they checked it out and it turned out it was like dripping out of the fuel filter. So they said, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. You guys go away. We'll just replace the filter. It'll be fine. It'll take like an hour. So we went off, got some lunch. Came back and they'd put a new filter on. But now it was dripping like twice as much. It was almost like just gushing out. It's like... um. Like a cup with a hole in the bottom, just oh shit, just diesel flowing out of it. Even though it was a whole new filter, so I don't know what was wrong. But he took us over to another garage. We followed him. He was driving the murder van, and we followed him to this creepy garage where they changed it a third time, and then it was just gushing out. They changed it a fourth time, and then the, it stopped stopped dripping. But then the van wouldn't start, and by this time it was like half four. We had to make it back. So we were just like, you know what? It's not the van for us. No, no murder yogs van today. Despite the fact you put a lot of fucking effort spent, to get this fucking... Spent all day faffing around with this van. We left the office at 10, didn't get back till half six. I mean, it sounds like you were fucking desperate for a shit van. Yeah, Fuck we wanted me. the shittest van in the world, <laughs> ideally. <laughs> oh, it was very cheap. I mean, sometimes it's worth just spending a little bit more... Oh, shit, shot. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Well, they, they aren't, like, we've got, like, specific criteria for this van, and there weren't many up for sale. This is one of the only ones that we could find. But it's all right. We've got it sorted now. We've got Yogg Van Mark II. Slightly less murdery, but still good Still shit. Job. Still shit. <laughs> yeah. How much was the cheap shit van? Um, he said he wanted 950 for it, but I got him down to 850. Wow. Which is pretty cheap for a van. It's fucking defending a fucking... Oh, cheeky. It's like one of those Mario plants that comes out of a pipe tries to eat you. I had one Arga. I can't believe it. We got <laughs> all right. the fucking bio, really well. bio stuff. We got loads of loads of resources. How much does bio sell for? I, I can't good. remember, but quite a lot, I seem to remember. Ah. I think it's, like, pretty valuable. It's not as good as the best ones, but... Yeah, it's better it's than okay. trash. Cool. All right, Alphasaurus is done. We're just gonna keep fucking collecting shit because you have to do. We need, we're gonna need some, some serious fucking upgrades to this ship if we want to survive. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about getting intercepted. We are not ready for combat. Oh, oh no, that's okay. I thought that was a bad guy for a sec. It's fine. It's a planet. It's a planet. Um, yeah, Betasaurus. Betasaurus. So I hope you guys are all enjoying this um, this retro stream. Yeah. Watching me and Ben just poodle around. Just chilling through space. It's quite slow. That's why I sort of like it for a live stream game, this. Because it involves just a lot of doing this. Oh, that's bad. Is it all, all trash metal? It's like Mass Effect 2 is a little bit of a spiritual successor to this, I think. Yeah. I never, I never played through Mass Effect 2. I bought it. But it was came on two discs because I played it on Xbox 360, and the second disc was knackered. When I, I played all the way through the first disc, put it in the second one to carry on the campaign, really? and it wouldn't read it. Just that wouldn't read is it. the worst. So I got halfway through and then had to stop. Especially and since you'd probably like, you know, be playing it for like a month by that point. Exactly, it was part. I couldn't take it back to the shop anymore because no. I'd had it for too long, um, and I was really annoyed. Um, and now I've you, you know finished it. People talk about reavers or reapers or whatever, and I don't know what they're talking about. Um, oh, shit. You this? know, I just did the basic early missions and recruited the, the crew, and then didn't that's it. Oh, God, this is going to be a really I don't know if I can go back now. Here. There's too much to get through. Do you think it's worth going back, or is it of its time? Will it, does it not date well? What massive... Oh, look how close this fucking planet is. It's basically in the sun. Oh, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a little skull on it. This doesn't bode well. I don't know. It's, it's aged well, actually, Mass Effect 2. Yeah, I think yeah, it's worth going back for. I think it's pretty good. Um, we'll just save quick. Yeah, um, always good to save. It's Iron Man. We're Iron Manning it. If yeah. She, oh, there you go. Oh, okay. That's a, that's good though. That's valuable, There's right? That's one worth a purple few. thing there. That's 
Is it worth coming um, all the way here for bloody purple? Well, just about. It gives us 25. Oh, no, four, it gives us 100. Four. Sweet, that's good. Fucking pointless. What? No, that's that's 100 bucks. 100 space bucks. Right, where are we going to go now? We could buy, so like... we cleared out these three and this one. Buy 50 Happy Meals for our 43 crew here, members. but it's risky. We could go to these two. What about that white star? This white white, white's the best one. Should we try to go on a mish? It's a long way, but we got the fuel. We can hack it. Zeman. Zeman. <laughs> Space Zeman. We're going to Zeman. It's far away. We got into just we got enough fuel. We can hack it. Alright. Damn. Maybe I should have looked for the um should I actually have to have a quick look and see if I can find that planet they were talking about? Uh, Delta Mira. What was it called? Alpha Volpiculi. The land day. Oh no, so I see that. Sorry, of course, yeah. Yeah, but that's remember. where the red thing is. I remember. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm scared to like, head out of our fucking comfort zone. Yeah, I always want to stay fairly close to Earth. Um, I definitely want to buy the dynamo for the gun. We need a bigger fuel tank if we want to get to see those, those cool guys. We need more allies as well, don't we? Because we lost all our allies. <laughs> starting, starting on square one for that. Oh, we just need to find a couple of really big, mega, rich planets. Super load up on cargo. Hopefully this white star is the one. We'll find out. I think we just need to keep playing it safe for now. Yeah. I'm terrified of running into those fucking probes, though. I think if we get enough like thrusters on the ship, though, we'll be able to just outrun the probes. Hmm. That'd be good. I'm so expensive, worried. though, aren't they? Well, thrusters, yeah, 500, yeah, 500 about 500 apiece. Looks fairly safe to get to Zeeman. Yeah, I think we're going to make it. Without Not being interrupted. Whew. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Oh, there's another oh, little one little next star. to it. Look. It's a yellow one as well. They're all oh, right. Wow, fucking hell. Oh, this is it. This is the mother load. This is Where what do we I needed. start? I guess I go left to right, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, fucking hell. It's gonna take me a while. This is gonna take a while, but this is it. We're gonna just fill up on juicy, juicy, pink and pink and blues or whatever it is we want. Oh, it's a big old greys here. Yeah, that's all right. Big greys are okay, I think. Yeah, I think this will be a whole fucking shitload in one go. Because we've got a tank and a half. Oh, oh my god! Shit. Well, wow. I feel like our sensors should give us a bit more information about <laughs> the the fucking terror world we're orbiting above. Do you know what I mean? Like, jeez, Louise. Oh my god, look, it's nearly 3,000 degrees down there. Oh shit, it's gonna be just as bad. Oh, but it's full of greens. Do you think you can, you can thread the needle? I think, at this point, we're gonna sacrifice crew members. <laughs> oh, it's too dangerous. For monies. Oh. I couldn't do it. What's the shit. manifest? What's the greens worth? Five. They're probably worth, like, 50 to 100 bucks a piece, those big green ones. We can't risk the fuel though. Can't risk the crew. We got. But the crew are three apiece. We just lost like eight crew in two two trips. Oh. Man, no and pain these are the game. lowest value. Of yeah, all. that's trash. Trash world. Oh, this is already a. F this is Fucking already disaster. A, isn't it? It's already going horribly wrong. <laughs> On our first two landings, they were like out of our reach. Oh my god, I can't believe we can't like improve our landing craft. We're just oh, going to get shit. through. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, it's coming for us. It's coming. Evasive action. No. I oh. <laughs> hello. In command of the <laughs> starship. Oh, hello. Successful in all circumstances. Brilliant. I bid you. I, I am Captain Solo. Captain fucking amazing at everything. Nice to meet you. Just recently arrived in this region of space we have long desired. Do you know who we are? And look to an extended I think he's just trying to butter us up. He doesn't know who we are. Okay. He seems friendly in trading as well. So, um, yeah, peace. We come in peace. Take us to your lead or. Did you? How does he know? This is secret shit, man. With great danger How do you know? Mystery, Who told you? We have great confidence in you and your We don't. Mm. He's not been watching the stream. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, how did you know? We gather information from a thousand secret sources in space and time. Mm. 
power charge for revealing even one of these sources would be so high that your species would be in debt to us for centuries. Wow. Bit pretentious, isn't he? Um, tell me more about your weird blobby pulsing Our face. Our origins and purposes are frankly mysterious, and due to several unavoidable factors, we are unable to discuss ourselves. I'm mysterious. We have not bothered to write any backstory. <laughs> and foremost among these factors is our unwillingness to give. Oh, uh, okay. These are like omnipotent About information our brokers. Psychology and mental powers, our unique physiology, the exact locations of home worlds, or our potentially ominous long-range plans. However, these Do you want to sound any more and creepy? Of information are available for a nominal sum of credits. Alright. What you, what you got? What might be useful? Absolutely. Our primary trade good is information. Why, right here on my display screen, I have something which I am certain would be even... You're not even going to give us a hint. You just have to say I've got something really, really and good. discuss the details of this very significant information later. When we have established okay. I hope you don't want the money first without giving us any clue. Time, we shall also discuss the nature of our fees. Oh, these guys are creepy. Um, sure. Start yes. trading. Let us get down to business. Since this is your first time trading with us, let me explain how our system works. We are interested in purchasing certain items, specifically biological data on alien life forms. Got some of that. And the oh, those um, those plants we killed. Worlds, whose radiant energies defy all scanners, producing a rainbow-like image. In exchange, so we have rainbow world locations. Interesting and valuable we haven't seen any, have we? Such as fuel. Compatible with your Starship's hyperdrive thrusters. Technological specifications. Allowing you sounds good. to build new devices for your ship. And many important Ooh, secrets. secrets. Which may help you in your or maybe bullshit. To facilitate trade, we translate all your sales into interstar credits. With which you may make purchases. So we can't use our normal mineral if bucks with him. No, we can't use the resources. Here's his own special currency. Nah. Yeah. What can we do for you? Okay. Today? Well, you can have all the plants. Um. Why did your bridge turn purple? What was it before? I didn't even notice. It's like green or like orange. Oh, that's, yeah. That's what the hell? That's a good question. With a very Is it interesting? interesting answer. I'll be the judge. Information <laughs> is. <laughs> 12 million Well, holy credits. shit. He may as well say what, you know, we give him 12 million credits and he just says, Pink is my favourite colour! Right, we've got some stuff to sell. <laughs> Would you like to sell? Well, you're going to have the plants. We don't need them. The 59 units wow. Of biological it takes a while to get 12 million. We downloaded from your ship for you 100 What can we get with that? Credits. Blob bucks. What trade items would you like to buy today? God, I feel like I'm, um, I'm at one of those um, arcades where you get tickets uh, yeah. for playing the games. Yeah. And then you can buy like a pencil, or if you save up a million of them, you can have an Xbox. What? Of course, there is an initial charge. Of course. But each technological system item is guaranteed. To be useful for something important. So vague. In the galaxy, what can I get for my 118 tickets? <laughs> How convenient. They cost slightly more than I have. We are now offering includes plans for building blaster weapons. Ooh. Twice as powerful as your That's good. bolt guns. I'm going to try. Try and buy it, even though I don't have enough tickets. Require more minerals. 
Um, what information? As you know, in our many centuries of star trading, we now know they have come to learn much about what happens in our galaxy, both now and Yeah, 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 I know you told me. What have you got? We have also kept records on <laughs> yeah. the first alien races yeah. in your region space. Well, what specifically can you tell me? This crucial knowledge with you for a fee of 75 credits per informative. I mean, and how helpful no is this refunds. stuff going to be? No refunds. Of course not. Because you're going to tell me that, like, you know, there's mu there's minerals on this planet over here and shit like that, aren't you? Um, no. I'm going to save up for the guns. What else would you like to buy? How much is fuel? As you know, we carry a large... Alright, alright. Um... Oh, hang on, does he actually say? Uh, uh, one credit per fuel. That's... Well, that's cheaper than regular space bucks. That's 20 per fuel, isn't it? But we only but get... we only get 100 from all that by... Yeah, it. no, no. Let's save up for the, for the guns. Um... I'm done. Very well, then. Right, should we write down where he is? So we can come back to him later. He's in Z-Man. Z-Man. He's the Z-Man blob. Now, I think Melnor made traders tend to go and hang around in these... Big. Do I? I think it just takes time. Oh, okay. I think they hang around in these big. Um, I tried to use the mouse then. What a fool! These big white ones. Oh, okay. Or these these like this big one. I think I think there's probably one in here, the big ones. and there's probably right. one here. You know, in these big. Oh, okay. Because they're all over the place. I think. I could be cool. Um, but yeah, he, he's gonna like wander off now and do his own shit, while I just keep keep on scanning. Oh, this place looks bad, but it's fine. We'll go through it. Um, so, um, Charlie Madman donated. Thank you very much. He says, hey, guys, which of Picard or Solo would you remove from the history of culture? They will never exist in the books, TV, films, etc. Same question, but for Data and Spock. I don't know. I think, I think Han Solo is good fun. There's a lot more to Picard. He's done a lot more interesting things. Mm. So I suppose it depends on what you think is more important. Fun fun characters or... Or, like, important things. Well, important. It's not super important. What's I don't know. the question again? Who would you erase from history? I think I'd erase Han Solo from history and keep Picard. Picard's like Picard. pretty, pretty important, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's... He's a really interesting character. Except for the movies. I mean, I think he's a bit of a psychopath in the movies. Um, no, I don't. What? Oh, I almost hit him. Um, but in the series, wow! Oh, it's 3,000 degrees down there. It's a treasure world. I think there's more cultural value in Picard than in Han Solo. But there's more other characters like Han Solo. Like, um, you know, you got Malcolm Reynolds from. Fu oh, fuck! 12 brave men just got burnt to death on Z Man 4. That's both of our landers destroyed. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck is this up, Ben? Did we really lose both our landers? I yeah. didn't, I didn't re remember us losing the first one. Uh, well, we, we have to go back to Earth then, don't we? That's all we can do. I'm sorry, guys. I fucked oh. up so hard. Man, we don't even have very much. No, we haven't used that second fuel tank, like, at all. Not second fuel, uh, second storage tank. We can come home before we even fill up the first one. This game is hard. It's really hard. <laughs> Games used to be hard, though. And I like that. You know, you play a game today, and you put in eight hours, you'll complete it. On the base difficulty. Like, I'm without sorry. a doubt, you just just participate, and you win. Old games were a real fucking ball grinder to complete. Like, did you ever complete, like, the old Sonic the Hedgehog, or the original Mario? Because you couldn't uh, save. You had to, like, nail it with your three lives that you start with. I don't think I really ever did, though, you know. I don't think I did. That was a real achievement, saying you'd, like, completed any of these, like, old games from the 90s. They were made to be really difficult. Most people who owned them didn't complete them, I, I reckon. But you got really fucking good at the Green Hill Zone. First level. Everyone knew that first level inside out. We're making it all the way. Oh, no! Way. Oh, no! Oh! It's it! Ah! Oh! Shit. Red alert. 
I mean, what I say as well. Oh, sorry, maybe they're friend. Fucking pro. Friend. Do oh, it's another one of these guys. We shall not harm you. Fucking replicators. They're like the replicators from Stargate. Um. So talking to them, saying um, friendly, just overrides their protocols and they attack us. Um. I'm going to talk. Just say, how you doing? We must go program to replicate. With our data. Contact mm -hmm. alien species. Priority over. Ah, oh, priority over red again. Dictated. Must break target into component oh, materials. Shit. What do I want to do? Do we want, want to try and fight him? Um, with this thing. Is it any. Well, yeah, because it's got like, the long range heat seekers, hasn't it? You might be able to pull it off. Alright, shit. Get away. Are you fast enough to like, stay away from him? We used the gravity. Oh shit, he's only us. Oh, uh, fuck. Shoot, keep shooting. Full full power to weapons. Ah, oh, good hit. Ah, oh, we made it. Ah, oh, we made it on two Holy crew shit. remaining. I can't believe how intense those battles are in comparison so to the rest hard. of the game. Like, fuck me. You did it. It just comes out of nowhere, so there's no practice mode, <laughs> no. no learning. It's you just, just a fucking. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sh shit, man. you just got to get some distance between you. And you're, then you're I just right. don't have any maneuverability. That, those yeah. thrust, they have no thrusters. If he closes in on you... You're done. Can we upgrade our, like, escort ships? Can we give them better engines? I don't think so. I think you have to pick ships that counter. Right, right. Holy shit, man. Ooh. Oh, shit. We barely got any fucking resources. I lost both the fucking landers like a noob. Shit. We kind of suck at this. <sighs> I suck. I'm sorry. I'm letting you down with my combat and fucking landing craft shit. It's all right. I'm letting you down, bro, in a major way. Having fun? Good to see Exploring you the galaxy. Again, Captain. Minerals. What do we got? Oh, yeah, not, not a great deal. Like love this shit. time, Captain. Mm, thanks. Thanks for rubbing Farewell, it in. Captain. <laughs> Jesus, you're a real fucking shot in the arm for morale, mate. Uh, let's get um, some crew. Oh, we just need all the crew. Don't forget to save 500 for a new landing craft. Because we literally can't do anything without oh, that. shit, you're right. Okay. Can we get Max Oh, in yeah, Max fuel. out of fuel. Oh, no, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, we, got, uh, we need to save some, no, get, drop some fuel for crew for the other ship. Oh, yes, yeah, for the Earthling. For the Earthling cruiser. God, I can't believe it nearly died. Right, we haven't got very much fuel, but we we're back in the game though. Got a landing craft. Um, oh bloody hell! Jeez okay, Louis. So what's like? So white is the best star. What's the second best star? Because the whites we've been to have been super dangerous. I'm not sure. Like, what the best? They're hot. That's the thing. I think that that that's so all it means. Yellow. They're, just, they're hot. Should we go to a yellow star? I'm just gonna go to the fucking. I'm just gonna check them all. All right. I mean, go even go if go they have shit on them, at least it's safe shit. It might be mm. a thing where we can actually upgrade our lander at a certain point. I don't know. Mm. Maybe it's like a Mel Norme thing, and it will like make your lander immune to fire or whatever. Oh, that'd be cool. I don't actually fucking know though. So let's find out. There's no guarantees there at all. Let's explore. Brave I mean, new honestly, worlds. like my knowledge of this game it's stops catchy. very soon because it's a long time since I played it. Like, yeah. I played it when I was like. 12 or whatever right and then i played the first hour or so with duncan yeah. and then so very quickly i'm out i'm out, out of knowledge, of knowledge <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's cool that's good it means we're it's all fresh i don't know that? what to do if we like sail into spatty space i don't know if they're just all going to attack us and we have to run away the whole time that's good i like not knowing about games so you know like you properly figure it out as you go along we just need to save regularly so let's save it now before it all goes wrong yeah this is Stressful. It's not as bad as Terra from the Deep, but I think we knew what we were doing more with Terra from the Deep. Yeah, we did. We knew how the game worked and what to expect. We felt confident. Now we just feel overwhelmed <laughs> yeah. in this huge universe. Oh, so do minerals well, we have a respawn barely, on like, planets? Leave our corner at all. Well, once we've like harvested a planet, are we done? Yeah, you can't go back to them. Right. Okay, it's not hot. Might be it's right. got worthless minerals on it though. Oh yeah, yeah, the like reds aren't good. Are they? I keep thinking red's good, but it's not. It's no good at all. Mm -hmm. So, um, Charlie Madman also asked about Data and Spock, and I'm going to say hands down, delete Data. Data fucking sucks balls, and Spock's amazing. That's like no contest. Spock's 
great. Xbox is fantastic, you know? Data, I mean, data does grow on you after a while, though. Oh, but he's always banging on about it. He just never gets it. Like, he's very, very clever. I'll tell you who I didn't like after watching all the Voyager. Was I really hated the Doctor. Really? He really got on my... He's one of the best <laughs> characters, don't get me wrong, but yeah. towards the end, he really gets onto, like, the, the robot, like, android rides. Oh, yeah, he's super, like, oppressed, isn't he's he? Like, he's hologram, like, hologram, hologram, yeah. consciousness, holographic rides. And, and he gets really like, funny about it. He loses his fucking mind about it. Actually. Yeah. It's really annoying. I really like that episode, though, where he's... A copy of him is left in a museum on a planet like 200 years after yeah. the main series. Do you remember that one? And he's like, you've got the history all wrong. It's all about like how history gets rewritten. And um, I really enjoyed that episode. That was one of my favorite voyages. That was a good haul there. Um, and it's all simulations within simulations. So I normally hate, but it didn't really work. Oh, oh shit. One guy just got fucking lightning bolted to the face. It sucks to be him. Ensign. And some spatula. Uh, the yellows, yeah. Oh, man, we're just wave assaulting these minerals. It's like the Terror from the Deep Chump Fest all over again. Just keep, keep sending in the bodies of miners. I think we, I think that, I think that was a good haul. I'm happy with that. I mean, I don't know what the manifest is. The yellows, the yellows are pretty worth it. They're worth six. So I could, so six times is about, six times ten, about sixty if I send a guy down, if I lose a couple of crew. They're worth it if they're big yellows. Is it mm -hmm. worth it to go down and get this one? Yeah. Just snatch it. And, uh, okay, nice. so that was... Sixteen times, what, six are they worth? Sixteen times think? six, okay. That's pretty good. Not complaining, I'll yeah. take it. I think that's everything in this one. Now. Who have we else? Uh, Monkey Meat Medal 8 cheered five bits. And he says, yay! I don't, I don't really understand bits. They're like a fucking... They're like a... That's like 5 bits is like 0.05p or something. something oh, like wow. So they're like... I think maybe 100 bits is a quid, actually, or something like so that. So they're like a penny or something. So they're like roughly. 5p. Cool. Cheers, dude. Man, it's like we're busking. All right. That was Gamma Centauri, I believe. And he says, Cheer 20. Good to see you again, Captain. Hmm. Done. Well, welcome aboard. I like the idea that all all our, all the people watching the stream are like part of our ragtag fleet or sat on the, the space station. Yeah. Ready to, to get into the meat grinder. This looks like a big one. Oh my fucking oh, wow. It's got See, I told you we did. Cool. Oh, so hopefully we can find some um, some animals to give him. Yeah, I don't reckon there'll be anim any animals in this system. No, it's though. unlikely, isn't it? Do, you know what Do I mean? different guys look for different things or do they all want animals in Rainbow Worlds? To what? The 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 trader guys. Yeah. The animals. one we saw before wanted animals and rainbow planets. So all want, they want they the all same. want the same thing. Yeah, right? that's okay. the same. Basically, like, you go to one, you've been to them all. Right. Man, these planets, I reckon these planets are all going to be fucking garbage. Just saying. Well, it's better to fill up on garbage than nothing at all. I yeah, guess. but not that's that bad. Not right. that super garbage. Super garbage 5,000. Hmm. We got we got this second fucking tank and we just can't fucking fill it with stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh, Ruby world. This looks oh, this looks fucking fantastic. Holy shit! Look at all this. It's not even that hot. Oh, look at that. Well, it's still four hundred degrees. <laughs> it's not fantastic. Fucking hitting the mother load. Oh, shit. oh man. I'm just gonna fucking take off straight away. I'm just gonna time. keep keep snatching them. I'm gonna jump down. Good work, man. This is four hundred degrees. It's like. Whoa. Oh, okay, you're doing it. You're doing it. Eject. Oh, no, fuck man. Him. Pro plays. This is good stuff. The dodges. See, after my this initial fuck-ups. Yeah, man. This is this is what we needed to get back in the game. Oh. All right, yeah. got it. Okay, man, five. That was, a, that was a fucking haul. Five brave chumps. It was totally worth it, 90 though. times 25. Man. So, uh, divided by four is... Oh, I can't do simple math. 20 to 2,000 bucks, roughly. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. This is fucking fantastic. We did it. We did it, guys. It's, um, yeah, it'll be 2,250, I think. Uh, shall I work my way in or shall I go left to right? Uh, let's just work our way across yeah, this systematically. Save you having to turn around too much. I think that, I don't think that red one is one. Okay. It's hard to tell sometimes where the planets are. Yeah, or stars, in the, stars in the background or planets. I think the orbit gives it away, though, doesn't it? If it, run, if it sits in the middle of an orbit, it's probably a planet. These are actually okay. Blues. Hot, Blues though. are good, yeah? 
Yeah. Still only 500 degrees. It's as hot as the last one. Just gotta be quick. Ooh, 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 ooh. The noble gases. How much are they worth? Let's. Uh, let's they're worth. They're worth. They're worth it. I think. But right. yeah, these are small, small nodes now. Fuck it. We're getting out of here. <laughs> Fuck it. I think they're worth. It. They're not worth as much as those purples. That's for goddamn sure. No, no those not purples bad. are worth like so much. They're four. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother with them. Now, yeah, that's I like a hundred. We, we got like 160 out of them. I reckon we could just go home with these fucking purples now. But I'm gonna finish off. this Well, area. yeah, let's fill up the tank. We're in the in the system. We feel like I feel like we've suddenly see that's not one. Oh, it is one. Oh yeah. See what I see about the pen tip though, right? It's like yeah. It's almost like that pixel, that green pixel. That green is what pixel you have to is line like, up. Yeah. Um, to get that tip in. Just that. Just trash. Really high temperature. Really shit weather. Yeah. Fuck horrible it. minerals. We're out of here. We're leaving. Um, yeah, that was we hit the mother load on that purple one, for sure. Mm. Uh, Best planet of you. So we're gonna keep going left Man, and right. If we can get one more of those before we go home, we'll be just be back in the game so hard. Oh, nice. Hello. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Get out of our way, please. I'm trying to go to the planet. Hmm. Hmm. What's chat saying? What's chat saying? is talking about the finest Italian porno. Okay. Um, <gasps> fucking another one. Holy shit, there's another fucking ruby world. Look how um, rich, look at all these riches. Oh my god, this is it. We can retire now. Just look at all those purples. We've got a few people asking about XCOM. <laughs> Whoa, clutch. <laughs> fucking clutch. Um, so, yeah, people who were turned up late and didn't see what happened with XCOM. We're taking a little break from XCOM. We're going to save the world in other retro games, and then we're going to go back to XCOM later, once we've played we other games we there. love. As long as we don't lose our fucking single ladder. Oh my god. God, it just landed you right in the fire. It's fucking bullshit. That's too far away. <laughs> <laughs> oh How man. How much fuel does it cost us every time? 20, 20 bucks. One fuel it costs us. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So that oh. fucking fire was chasing me. It was, yeah, it was blocking, it was cock blocking it's you, man. It's going to be a Yeah, those two, between those two, two fat like ones. To near one, near right? one of them, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Got that one. Yeah. I, I guess we just keep going here until we can get as many as Yeah, just keep so going. Possible. Yeah. As long as we don't lose, lose too many men's. Oh, sweet. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that is the ideal just situation. in and out. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, um, I'm risking that. There was a fucking gauntlet around that one. I mean, it's better to lose. Um, what, three? It's better to lose six people than it is to relaunch. Like, the extra fuel costs about the same as six it's people. It's better to lose six people than to relaunch. Yeah. Okay, if you say so. Like, statistically, six people cost 18 bucks. Yeah, fuel but I've only 20. got 19 guys total left. Well, plus the 12 on the ship. Fucking, we're, we're doing it. We're doing we're it. Do, we're fucking we're getting it. all of this shit. We're going to come back with a fucking, the biggest haul yeah. of purple shit you've ever fucking seen in your life. But just saying the whole lose six people thing makes me feel awful. Like, <laughs> can you imagine the captain of the ship going, acceptable losses, it's better to lose six people than to relaunch the fuel. That is grim. Grim world we live in. Oh, oh. man, you just rinsed that planet. That is fantastic. Oh, let's keep going. Hopefully, there's another one of those here. Spooky high home. level gameplay. Before you do too many more landings, can we see how much fuel we need to get back to Earth? Oh, yeah, shit. You're good. That's a very, very good point. We don't want to get stranded. Back to Earth. We need, we need five fuel. Okay, sweet. And the Mel Norma here, though. Oh, he can sell us fuel, can't he? So if we're desperate. Yeah. I think if you get stranded, it's bad. Yeah, I, I bet. I say that. But Is it like FTL? Can you send out a signal and get jumped? Uh, I think people just come fucking visit you. I think some people are fairly willing to like help you out. Like, mm. pretty sure this is a gas jam. We'll just check it anyway. Oh, I oh, can't even do that. Can't even do that. Yeah, there we go. Should we um, should we save after this? Yeah, we've got some really good hauls. Oh, it needs to have like an Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah, which just auto saves every like two minutes or something. That would be perfect. Well, then again, like, if we're playing Iron Man, if we die, that's the game over. We haven't been playing Iron Man so far. It's just we... Well, yeah, because we've only died once, haven't we? 
and we restarted. They, they don't get that green shit. The, green, get, the greens Fucking are enormous. No, it was a class seven. It was like 1,500 degrees. We don't need oh, that shit. Oh, I didn't see that. You saw how big the green were. Green things were. You just looked at how big the green big, ones were. Big, juicy pair of green jump, jubbly apples. Fucking <laughs> missed it. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, the old pencil. It's a bit of a weird looking ship, isn't it? It is Honestly. a bit strange. Okay. This right. is 800 degrees. Um, class six. Just going to snatch that purple. It's really dangerous. In and out like a trout. <laughs> Fuck. Just four people evaporated on impact. We just like, were coming in, you know, like too high on a trajectory. The ship just started to burn up. I don't up. think we can do it. You don't, no, no, just drop one more, one more drop. You think we can do it one more drop? Yeah, yeah, man. You, you, risk to the crew. you rinsed those other planets hard. You did it before. You can do it again. Like, that's going to be worth, what, like, 20 times 25 is... So this is worth 500 bucks. That's, like, more than 100 crew. Oh. <laughs> yeah, still profitable. Fucking hell. Good we work. lost so many crew. Totally worth it. We got some 16 magnetic nanopoles, though. Look at our fucking cargo. 326 of the most expensive things in the game. It's amazing. Yeah, this seriously. Alpha Centauri has been a rich yeah. fucking source of... No wonder that's where you colonize after Civ. It's the best place ever. I'm so pleased. Well, you don't do it. In Civ 6, you, you go to Mars instead. What are we going to fucking spend all of our cash on? Um, I don't know. More engines? No, it seems a bit frivolous. Um, what else can we buy? It's good. More ships? More crew. For sure. Um, we could upgrade the fuel tank to so we could um, go to the, the flip-flop dibbers. Oh, it's a gas giant. Do you remember the, the flip flubbers? Oh, what, the uh, Zotfot Peak? Peak. Yeah. If we get the fuel tank, we can go see them. Oh, it might be it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to involve a long fucking trek, but yeah, we could definitely do it. Um, it would be an adventure. Obviously. Ideally, I'd like to get those new new guns before we do it, but that just relies on us finding some organics before we oh, can. These, these plants look juicy as well. Oh, Kazar, thanks for cheering the bits. Give me some bits. Oh, Did you hear Harry's one. Harry's strategy? Harry, of, uh, yeah, bits bits for tits was his nice his uh, plan for for Twitch. Just wear a low cut top, lean over every time he gets bits. This must be a gas shot, right? I assume if it's got planet, yeah. It's interesting. I I, I don't know how you can recognize. Well, I think you can recognize it by just the size on the screen. I guess. So. I think if it's that big on the screen. But Earth is not much big, not not much smaller than that. No, that's true. Earth's a special case, though. <laughs> uh, so are we done? It? Have you been to that blue one? Yeah. We're done, then. Uh, GG. Well, there's a couple of little little Centauri's around here we could visit. Yeah, why not? We're in the neighbourhood. Oh, shall we visit all of Centauri? Yeah, because we're about to head off after this, aren't we? Like, to the other side of the galaxy. So we may as well... All right, we've only got 12 fuel. Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot about that. Um, we can probably do one planet and then head home. Yeah, I think it might be all right. We'll see. We'll see how much this jump takes. Oh. 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 We're doing it. So there's one. There's there's loads of them here. Like there's there's three right on top of each other. So what? that was Alpha Centauri we did, and we've done Gamma as well. Okay. So we've only got 11 fuel left. How much did we have before? I wasn't paying attention. We need five to get back. Right. So we probably we can't go to another store. per landing. Oh, sorry, you go. Uh, you, could, you take over, yeah. It's nice that it's nice that you could just take over every time. Like, Yeah. It's a bad It's a good one. setup we've got here, I think, with the um, sharing the Yeah, it makes keyboard. it easy. Ooh, I know, red's trash, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah, but I think there might be an orange there that's not bad. Those oranges oh, yeah. are okay. Should we grab the oranges? Should we go around and get the orange ones. Okay. And just try and avoid... It's, um, it's safe. It's pretty safe looking, actually. Um, tectonics and... Yeah, and go and get the oranges. I'm going to have a quick... Go and get a quick... Um, uh, you're full. Boop, boop, boop. You're going to need to take off, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, let's just get some red. Oh, no. All right, do one more landing. Get those three oranges. Sweet. I'm, I'm, do you want to drink of something? Yes. Um, this is fucking doesn't quite fit me. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty high quality, though. It looks just like the ones from yeah, the show. Yeah, so just, just 
that's just too small. <laughs> like, I've just like put on compared to our normal costumes. Bigger. Like that is grade it's A a nice, stuff. It's a nice looking costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got the badge, you got the pips. Yeah, it's I love nice. it. I feel, I feel, I feel legit. Um, can I have a uh, Pepsi Max, okay. please? All right, check out the other Centauri. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. So, oh, cool. We've got um, Magicass resub for 35 months in a row. It must have been here since like we first started streaming like Christmas stuff. That's really cool. And he says, aha, cool game. Clearly someone's played before. Not me. It's my first go. That classic Star Control. I've read that Stardock, the games company, is um, doing a, a modern remake. Um, they started working on it. It comes out next year. So on their website. So um, that's pretty cool. Be interested to see what they do with it. Uh, we've, been, we've been to Alpha Centauri. God, you can barely see these planets. Beta Centauri? Did, has we been to Beta Centauri? No. Cool. Coordinates locked in. <laughs> Go to hyperspace, Chewy. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks. Can Steve, can they hear you? Or do I have to explain what you're saying? Cool, okay. Steve told me not to fuck it up. And I don't intend to. Uh, navigate. Right. Uh, God, where do we go? Where do we go? Yellow. Yellow sounds good. Let's go check out them yellows. Oh, we've got a long way to go before we can take on the Urquai. I reckon we'll finish this run. We'll upgrade the fuel tanks, and we'll go see the uh, the Tic Tac Toes, whatever they were called. Hopefully get some new friends. See where we end up after that. Uh, scan. Auto scan. Oh, wow. Wow. Just the worst. Let's get out of here. Stop wasting my time. How are you guys doing in, in chat? You can, uh, my fuel's up. Nah, I need like five fuel to get home. Do a couple more, um, couple more little surveys. Here we go. Oh, ooh, thank you. Found a couple of nothings. You missed literally nothing. They're all like this. That's all right. This is a lot of this game is fairly chill. <laughs> I'd, if I had uh, the monitor working, I'd be reading donations and stuff. But I'm um, no, no. It's quite. It's all right. It's, it's all just right. There's not sometimes. Ben's just been getting all of the chat in the face today. Yeah, I'm the chat, chat man. Uh, now, now, a yellow's just garbage tier or something. I thought they mm. were going to be good. Orangut young orangutans. Oh no, they are the worst. Young orangutans. I shouldn't have even bothered scanning them. They're just garbage. Uh, no, it goes violet. Ooh, look at all the bios. Oh shit. Be careful though. What do they do? What do the bios do? Uh, well, they, they kill you. So get ready to... Okay. Do they shoot or what? I'll oh, get out of there. It's gonna be... Oh, but we... Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. How do you... Oh. What? How do you shoot? I thought it was a... Enter. I did press enter, and I escaped. Or press... Oh, fuck it. But if we can get literally just a few more of these, we'll get the good guns off the, the dudes. Do you remember? We were only, we had like 120 out of the 150 um, cool bucks tickets that we needed. Is this the last it's Alpha Centauri world? Yeah. Okay, right, let's check this one out first. Okay. Cause I really, and then we'll head back. Because we're going to have the money for the cool guns. We have only got 11 crew. Maybe we should come back here after refilling... Oh, this is safe though, look. It's not hot and it's only class three. It's yeah, not safe, true. but it's relatively safe. What's valuable here? The, the yellow stuff? The yellows are pretty valuable. Oranges are okay. Oh my god, we don't even have enough crew to fill the landing craft. Oh, shit me. Let's go. Um, I'll go over on the other side. Shit, we've only got like one more landing's worth in us anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Let's head home, restock, and then come back and get those animals, because. I want those guns. Am I, are the guns worth it? Am I obsessing over something that's a minor upgrade? I don't know. 
I've, uh, honestly, Ben, uh, mm. my knowledge stops, and I'm kind of glad. Yeah, yeah. So I want to, I want to learn. I want to, I want this. I want to experience this game. Yeah. It just seems like we should take advantage of it because, like, organic life forms have been very rare so far. This is the last one we're doing. Okay. Because we're at nearly fuel. out of fuel. Hey, it's, these lightning strikes are just sometimes really unfair. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit, isn't it? They just... Nope, oh, get out, man. Get out. Right, that's our four crew left. <laughs> Let's head for home. Oh, shit, yeah, look at our range. See, our range is really small. Oh, that's yeah, that's, a, that's the limit of our area. fuel. Shit. It's five foot ones to get home. So, yeah, we've we done... This is this is one hell of a haul. We should be able to, like, totally fucking... Totally refit bullshit. everything. Well, let's do a minor. A minor refit. We'll just go fuel, crew, and then come back, get the plants, get the guns, because we don't know how much they're going to cost. Well, you can sell the stuff that you buy for half a price anyway, right? What do you mean? I mean, full price anyway. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so you've got nothing to lose, actually, by spending all your money. So you can just take stuff and put it off and on for no downside. Sorry if you're, I'm eating this apple really noisily. Probably. Nah. Doesn't sound crazy loud to me. So we did all the Centauris. I think so. That was Beta Centauri. We were just at. Did we do the bottom one? I, I don't know. Let me know, chat, if we missed the bottom one, so we'll go back there. Hmm. Zero fuel. <sighs> really, really Ooh, cut it we to the line, in. didn't we? Coasted in on zero <laughs> fuel. We're just using the what's left of our momentum. Man, we really fucking cut this fine, didn't we? Yeah, Holy we shit. cut it a bit too close, really. Four fuel. No, sorry, four crew, no fuel. If we'd got intercepted on the way back, we'd have been fucked. Okay. Limping back to space dock. But it's okay. What's going on, space Welcome commander? Back, Captain. Um, minerals! Cash money! Excellent. Holy Captain. shit! Amazing. 10,000! 10, 10,000 space bucks. That is such a lot. It's just perfect, isn't it? Should we get some more friendships? Probably wouldn't be the worst thing to have another one, would it? We can afford it. Or is it like a luxury? I'd feel better. With another escort. Cool. I mean, we're going to struggle to spend our money at this rate. There's not much else to buy. Um, mm -hmm. uh, outfit starship. Right, fuel. Ding, 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 How much is a full tank? 50 times 20. 60, 60 times 20. Um, so that's like plenty of, plenty of bucks. Uh, module. Right, what do we want? Um, another fuel tank? Mm -hmm. Does it matter where we stick it? Just put it on the back? Sure. Cheap, isn't it? 500. Yeah. Oh, we, we need to buy more fuel. I, forgot. I think we need another fuel tank, actually, to make it all the way over there. Crew pod? What do you reckon? More crew? How, many, how much crew do they fit? I guess it'll give us more life as well. Yeah. Well, let's stick the dynamo on. So our guns aren't garbage. Um, and a crew pod, storage bay, down our unit, that's it. So, um, crew pod. Bam! Um, more fuel. This is going to cost a lot. I'm sorry if this apple is like really annoying people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how You're nearly it done. It's all good. I have no idea how annoying right. it is for you guys. I'm sorry if it's like the um, worst thing in the universe. Oh man, the shipyard. More crew. Yes. Have you filled up on um have you filled up on on, on fuel? Yeah, 160. Yeah. Maybe we should get one more maneuvering thruster and one more um booster. Uh yeah, or another lander? Oh another lander probably wouldn't hurt. All right, a backup lander. Since we nearly lost the lander a couple of times. And yeah. what do you reckon, engine or, or turning? Turning's much better, I think. Okay. 
for another turning. Turning's better for, for 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 combat and also fiddling around in. Yeah. I think if we get if we boost it if we got lots of. I can't help but think maybe the crew thing isn't needed. Really? Yeah. But now we can like go for ages without having to come home. That's what she said. <laughs> I mean, crew is health basically, isn't it? It is, yeah. We've just doubled our health. I don't know how much that's going to help us if we're like fucking getting gangbanged by like. Well, it means we can make that emergency jump without um, dying. Oh fuck! I'm t well, at least we haven't run into any of those fucking probes lately. Holy shit! Yeah. Those probes just raped us. Hard. It was horrible. Um, so there's bios there. At what Beta said. So do you want to get the bios, the left, or should we just it? make the long haul to the the tic tac toes? The dip dubs. We can go to the whole galaxy, look here, with 160 fuel. Yeah, yeah, that's so it. Like, we can go anywhere we want now. What's this? We couldn't here? quite make it back from over there, but. A couple of planets up there. Um, now, obviously, certain aliens own certain areas of space. It's like five planets here. These are quite interesting. They're in a line. There's some planets here. Oh, what should we do? It's, it's, it's exciting, isn't it? Well, actually, we're, we're about to run out of time anyway. It's 10 we? to 8, so we're going to have to stop at 8 anyway. Oh, okay. Um, Sh should we go get some... Um, let's go get some of those plants then before we finish. You want to see if we can hand him in for the... Yeah, we can wave a salt plant planet. So did we find out if we went to say to Centauri or not? I don't know. I didn't see anything in chat about it. Have maybe they can these places, Maybe they can tell us while, beta while we... Beta Wolf and Alpha. I think we should go to Alpha and Beta Wolf just to see what's up there. Okay. That, will take, that won't take very long, will it? And then we'll cover the wolf planets. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just sure. writing them down like, everywhere we've been so we don't go back to it again because next time we play this next week we'll be like did we go here? Did we go yeah here? no you're right, like, writing we'll it all down we've forgotten exactly where we've been although so. we won't be able to play next week because you're in you're at BlizzCon mm. oh shit yeah what are you going to do next week? Um, I'm going to ask Tom to see if he wants to um, play something I don't know what find something that Tom played when he was a kid yeah and he can show it to me something shit <laughs> no like this. something good like this, or XCOM. We, we, we barely even scratched the surface of this game. Mm. By the way. We've only been in like three fights, haven't we? We need to unravel a lot of mysteries. Like those probes. Yeah. We need to unravel all the mysteries of we all need the to other meet, things. We need to meet the Ibdib Dobbs. The Sotfop Picks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's right. They're, they're, they're cool cool guys. I yeah, I like them. Are like, I remember being, their ships being I like, absolutely garbage. I like them a lot more than the, the green fella. Yeah, mm. the Spathy. They're very ir irritating. Yeah, very, very irritating. Um, oh, shit. No, garbage. Well, sorry. Try again. I wasted our time. So that is, that's the entire star system, I think. Beta Wolf. Nothing there at all. Tick. <laughs> Off we go to the next destination. Woohoo. So, yeah, I think a few extra thrusters and turning turning just would make this mm -hmm. gathering experience quicker. Oh, of course. Yeah, more thrusters would get us there quicker, wouldn't it? And it That'd would make good. us more nimble in... Mm. Yeah, because we are sluggish combat. in combat. That's, That's the most sure. difficult part, like turning to get a shot on him or, or, or yeah. thrusting to get away. How do, how do you... Um... Oh, it's so unforgiving as well, though. If you get jumped and you just spack out for a couple of seconds, then you're dead. It's, it's brutal. I know. But with a hundred crew, we should be sticking around. And I guess mostly mm. we might just want to run away. Yeah. How do you run away? Is there a button? Just for it? mash escape. All oh, right. And then it takes like time to like charge up. This looks like a gas giant. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh, someone in chat said um, this looks like No Man's Sky NES edition. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever well, wears the same. <laughs> yeah. This is all made by. Um, all of this is made by. Not random though. This is all a, a, a fixed. Yeah, it's all planned out, isn't it's all it? A planned universe. It's not randomly mm. generated. Oh, do you remember when randomly generated was like groundbreaking, and now everyone's just totally bored of it? It's just. It's just not. It's just, it's just not. It's just good, not is fun, it? is it? Like, if there's nothing cool to explore. Like, could you imagine if Skyrim was? procedurally generated and there was no like cool like you know um dragon nests and stuff dotted around like really interesting things yeah god skyrim feels randomly generated though because it's so fucking similar all of the all the drug or the tombs same. how many of those have you gone down exactly like <laughs> christ I, if i see another fucking uh, draugr i'll rip my balls off 
<laughs> you know the um, the Super Deluxe Edition comes out today. Oh, does it? Yeah, they've remastered it, like with uh, super texture graphics. Well, I mean, mod PC mods have been having that for years. But yeah, I mean, the big thing is you. It works. You get the the improved shaders on consoles, and a lot of mods have been converted for consoles. Oh right. So if you're a console guy, I saw a guy. It's pretty cool. I saw a guy won an award, a writing award for writing a Skyrim mod. That's oh yeah. Really, really good mod to play through. There's a total conversion mod for Skyrim that looks amazing. It's basically the same length as the original Skyrim, but in a completely handmade world by a group of mod modders. Right. It's like basically using the engine to make a whole new Elder Scrolls game. Looks amazing. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's by a German team. Came out like a month ago. And it looks fantastic. Steve's asking, is that the one they've... Yeah, yeah. It took them like three or four years to make. Um, it looks, looks really cool. I've not heard of it, but... I, I, I can't, well, there's always these like really... In like in depth total com total mods for for these contests. I know, but they never finish them usually. It's like it's usually people like really dedicated fans who want a job at Bethesda. And yeah. they end up getting one. They so use that as like their CV. Yeah, which honestly, it's a good way to do it's it. A fucking fantastic way to do it, especially if it's a really good thing. Mm. But yeah, I, honestly, I need I'd love to get back into Skyrim again, and maybe the I think the complete edition. I don't know if, if it's getting is it, what's it is it remastered? Or I don't know if special I don't remastered know if it's getting, or something. Like, pushed yeah. to. PC or whatever. Yeah, it's on PC. If you own Skyrim and all of the expand, all the DLC, you get it for unlocked for free. Wow, this, this, oh Which right, is pretty okay. cool. Yeah, and then again, how much is that going to break all the mods that I've already got installed? I don't think it will at all. It's basically a shader pack. That's pretty much all it adds, and um, extra mod support. So hopefully, it'll add more tools for modders to make even better mods, and we might one day see a stable multiplayer mod for it. Well, it's possible. I very much doubt that. There's a couple of mods out there that. Just aren't stable. They're just bad. Yeah. I checked all these, haven't I? I think so. I checked that. I think we're done with one. Alpha Wolf. Did I miss anything, chat? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe I did. Chat will tell me if I missed anything. Um, oh, apparently, I'm completely wrong. Says the game guy four one five. You're completely wrong. I am completely wrong about about. I, I have no idea. Skyrim. About everything. About everything. Everything in my life. I'm doing it all wrong. You're an idiot, Ben. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here. Let's, 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 let's risk going into ill rest space. Why? You maniac. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> you just want to fight something. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we've only got two minutes left. I don't think we'll be fighting them. This is right on their border as well. Okay. Hopefully they're not patrolling their border heavily. If we visit this star system and it's like fucking... Oh shit, there's, there's someone on our tail already. Oh dear. There's another one. There's another one there as well. You can't see this. Oh, it's, in... oh, it's a crystal probe. Great. Okay. Oh no, but look, there's only one option we haven't tried now. So we need to tell them to go get fucked. Submit will be destroyed. Yeah. I'm going to wreck you. Is there something wrong? We seem to be miscommunicating a new one. No, let's, let's have a go at them. Because they do not respond well to peak diplomatic to stuff. New behavior. Oh. They're fighting against Stephen Hawking. These guys! <laughs> it's like nothing works! Oh, shit me, I hate this fucking... I hate this fight so much. Oh, okay. So <laughs> oh man, it's my brother or son or who knows. Um, oh, at least you didn't start right next to them. Like last time you spawned on top of them and it was killer. Shit. Get away, get away! More range! I need to just to kite him from range. Yeah. Nice! Oh, that went so much more smoothly. Diddly -diddy. Oh my god, those nukes are hard. Still, we that was that we was, got that was okay. Fifty bucks. We for got out with some cash. We lost like three crew members. That's pretty big I profit. Think that might be a ill There's there. another one. Yeah, it's not as fast as the the crystal guys. It's not catching us. Oh, oh, and all the little old, planets. Um, big old fucking. Uh, start? Green. Let's go for that green one. Yellow ones are, are just trash. Are they? Yeah. Let's actually test that. Okay, because all the yellow ones I've been to so far have been, been horrible. Absolute garbage. Yeah, and yellow is young, young orangutans. Oh. It's a treasure world. Okay, I'm... Pfft. It's full of treasure. What the fuck do I know then? <laughs> what else does yellow young stand for then in that, that mon mononic? Silver and platinum. Yeah. Maybe it's just sometimes randomly different. Who knows? Palladium. Palladium. Palladium! 
It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, we're going to oh, okay. just uh, we'll finish off um, in a second. Uh, yeah, I, I, do you know what? I'll save it here, and I think we'll resume clearing out this um, this this system next time. Yeah. Oh, we may as well finish this planet, otherwise we'll forget to come back for those. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just clear out the solar system. Who's on next, uh, Steve? I think it's Calf. It's usually usually Calf. Calf's not here. If he's on next, mm. he was hosting us. I saw it came up in chat. Maybe it might be streaming from home. I don't know. Maybe we'll see if he bothers us. Maybe it's Barry. Maybe Let's it's Silas. A little bit. It's all, it's all complaints. You know, I just want to finish off this um, this solar system. I'm desperate to do it now. <laughs> okay, you got a mission. Okay, cool. If whoever's on next is in chat, have a go at us. Yeah, Otherwise, we're just going to keep keep going. Let's know. Um, yeah, let us know in chat, like if you like this or not, or you know. We'll, otherwise, we'll we'll do some more XCOM. Or we'll, we'll just do whatever. Yeah, we'll let us know because obviously, next week will be a, a break anyway. Be a Ben Tom jerk off stream. Then maybe the week after that as well. I think you're at BlizzCon till Thursday. I think you fly out on Wednesday. You come back on Wednesday. So we Can might you not call your stream? The jerk, jerk off, off stream. But we're both jerks, and we have to see who's the biggest jerk. Yeah, I get that, but unfortunately, does it have it's. A, it's Oh, fine. Of course, I've said it now. Everyone's <laughs> going to be like, oh, it's got to be called that. It's like that thing. I, it's like, as soon as I say that I don't like something, that's like, Shit. it sticks around just forever. I didn't realize you hated it. Oh, I, don't, I don't hate it. I just think it's a terrible name. <laughs> yeah. It's very misleading. I know. So, there's yeah. almost no jerking off at all. Exactly. I was thinking, <laughs> you, tuning in. You were there with the lights dimmed, <laughs> ready to rock. Glass of wine in hand. <laughs> <laughs> with the Barry White playing Ready the for like some <laughs> hot Ben on Tom action. Oh, and then just disappointment. It was just a letdown. It's just two nerds like trying to see who could out nerd each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, so there's like two reds. There's a, is orange good and red's bad? I yeah, think? orange is radioactive. Okay, red cool. is junk. But we're here, so why not? Bromine. Bromine. Astatine. We'll get this last one, and then we'll go. Mm -hmm. Man, is this an okay haul so far? Like, and we haven't been killed by the eel wrath. They're obviously not paying attention to their territory here. On They're the not. They're just letting us swoop in like a bunch of like space pirates yeah. and uh, pilfer all their worlds. I mean, I don't know what will happen if we go and meet them, say hi. I'm sure um, they'll attack us. Yeah, they'll almost definitely attack us. Although they don't know who we are. We don't. We don't. We don't look like a human ship. That's true. Mm -hmm. We might be able to like bluff our way if out. If we don't turn on the the video screen and pretend to be Clorathians or something. Oh, gold! Gold! Those life forms are so rare, aren't they? Yeah, they, they really, really are. are. But you know, the galaxy's a big place. I'm always terrified to. I don't know whether I should be terrified to visit like worlds that are in. Um, uh, like territories of, of people. I think it's just higher risk of interception. That would be my guess. And then we have to have either a conversation option where they talk to us and mm. they might attack us. And then we can either, I guess, run away or just die horribly. Yeah, but I, I, th I feel like we're a lot stronger. We've got two of the homing missile ships and we've got 100 crew on the on the mothership. So Our motherships. Oh, life. Life as we know it. No weather, no heat. This could be a big haul. Can you mash enter for me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Co-pilot in action, amazing. We need as much of this as we Maybe can get. Maybe just hold it down. Oh yeah, brilliant. Oh, watch out! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> shit! They're tough. I might have to press escape. No. Oh. Fucking hell, this oh, you ban? That I was close. I didn't want to get fucking caught by all those things. No, no, fucking but you, I, I thought it got you, but it hadn't. Oh, Kef okay, Cap's online. Okay, cool. cool, we'll have to, to take a break. Uh, we'll just finish this planet and then we're done. Yeah. So this will give us the, the space bucks we need to get the, the 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 information brokers to give us the tech for better guns. Don't shoot the um. Oh yeah. Well, shoot shoot now. Yeah, I forgot you could blow up the minerals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh fuck! I was on a. Shit. Nice. Oh shit, I need to get these bees, they come for you. Oh shit me. Oh, 
These things don't seem to go to They don't really go for there. you. Tough. They're pretty tough. These things go for you. Are we full? Oh, shit. I pressed F1 and it paused it. Oh, that's good to know. That could <laughs> I didn't know you could pause it. Oh. I don't know why that helps you. Uh, I guess if... Well, you would oh, just press shit. escape, wouldn't oh. you? Oh, I see. Hang on. Blue side is... Ah, is oh, blue side is biological, so we can carry minerals and life forms. Can't we just stick more minerals in the life form hold? That seems very strange. We've got a special... Special cargo bay just see, for life forms. See, that was quite a lot. Yeah. We can probably only fit one more. Oh, man. We're going to be able to see, buy... See, those don't have any. No, anything. no. It's the green ones. Those green ones look a lot like that guy we met um, in the beginning. The green green friend. Green pal. Do you remember him? The guy who we got killed? Fwiffy. Yeah. Fwiff, fwaff, fwo. He's, um, he looks exactly like yeah, these guys. Yeah, those have a lot. They have a... These ones are fuck all. Right. They're fuck all. Man, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to buy the tech and we're gonna have loads left over for like sweet, sweet intel. This is gonna be amazing. Making progress. Fucking hell. Yeah, one more of those and we'll be full, I think. That is like barely worth it. This looks like that's good though. Come on. Die. They fucking run away. Oh, sons of bitches. That's why they don't give as much. I guess they're a lot easier. Oh. Oh, they run. That's why. That's why they're valuable. It's because they have tricksy motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. just killing we are wiping out all life on Delta Centauri 2. Because our... <laughs> I don't know, I guess like Sporlak hides are valuable. We can buy some sweet tech with them. Death to the Sporlaxes! Oh, hang on, we're full. Cool. Right. Should we save it there? Uh, no, we're gonna get these we're last gonna two. Finish them off. Really fucking valuable. It's like one of them is like half of our fucking. Oh, you dangus, come here. <laughs> oh, five brave fucking souls! Cool killing. died. Ooh. Trying to capture a Sporlak. Ah, oh, I see. That's so much. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Sweet. Okay, the planet Get has the been cleansed, one, and there was no <laughs> nothing remains on Delta Centauri. We fucking raided this planet. Super hard. God, are we the bad guys? <laughs> Don't feel like we're so good guys. Was, uh, I think we checked that planet, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Who knows? God, we've been on that planet for fucking ages. I think we went going. Were we going left to right? Maybe. I think we were going left to right. Yeah, I don't I remember anymore. Right. I think it's too busy reading chat. Left. Oh my god, so many. Chat's having a big chat about No Man's Sky now. Nope. What's Kafka to play, do you think? I don't know. He's been playing a few, like, um... He's been playing all sorts. He's playing a weird anime game. Oh. I don't know whether that's his words or Steve. I think that's Steve's words. That's his <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love a weird anime game, Steve. As much as the next anime loving guy, I like I like me a bit of anime. Yeah, some of them are, some of them are really good. So much anime on Steam these days. I flick through the new releases and like. Oh, it's just games. I can't play anime games. <laughs> no, I can't play. Them. Just clogging up that that new releases. That and like. Games that cost a pound or less. So many of them. And they just assume they're garbage. We're just going to be totally completionist and get this this, this okay. solar system done. Just so just we can tick it off of our fucking Right, list. we're just going to dragnet this whole star system. I think this is like the last Centauri labelled. Oh, shit. I'm going to go in this blue one and then we're done. Okay. We're just... What, we're like... Um, trawling it. Yeah. Yeah, just like with this... Picking it clean with our dragnet. Noble world, cool. That's good. Get the, get them noble looks gases. Fairly dis fairly safe. Yeah. It's got a half money. full cargo hold of not valuables but decents. Yeah. And those bios will go well to the Melnorn. Yeah, we'll get the Melnorn. Give us some cool stuff. Yeah, Maybe they'll give us more tech than just the guns because we've got so much bio now. Yeah, I think they're like 150 each. Then I guess so you can. But I think you have to get them in in order. Right. So I guess it'll be the first one will be guns, the second one will be like engines or something. Yeah, who fucking knows? I don't think I ever 
I can't remember this game. I don't know. If, I don't think I ever sold anything to them. I don't remember selling them to them. I don't right. remember. If we can find a rainbow ward, that would be pretty useful as well. Yeah. I mean, there should be one like within our starting area. I'd, I would assume. I don't think they wouldn't. I don't think they would like. Definitely yeah, not probably. put one anywhere fucking near us. Right, we are done. So let's uh, save it here. Oh boy, it's August the. 30th, 2155. August, wow. So, like, we started in February. So, that's a fair few months, isn't it? Mm. Six months. We have just cleared out. Six months of space adventuring. Delta Centaur. We've so right there upgraded down. our flagship. We've got. We lost two ships. We bought two ships. I think we're doing good. Cleared out Alpha Centauri. Cleared out Delta Centauri. Cleared out Alpha and Beta Wolf. And, um,. I think that'll be the last... Well, maybe we need to check out Zeta Centauri. Right? I think that's, that's where we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Zeta Centauri. Uh, I'll just make a note for next time. Cool. Biologicals here. I hope everyone watching enjoyed. I know it's a change of pace from XCOM, but who doesn't love a good space adventure? Next. Next time we'll, uh, we'll get the guns and the other tech, and then we'll fly to the, the, the bib, ib dib dobs. Yeah, and, I mean, um, we might be able to just head through Spatty Space to their home world. Just cut straight through. Let's say hi. Yeah. He did give us the cause of the space, the home world. Yeah, we've got the emergency FTL if anything goes wrong. So I think if we, where was that? That was 26241. It's one of the, it's not that one. It's this one. Epsilon Druis. 368.7. So we know what the secret cipher is. Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot about that. So we can go have a chat so with them. So we just go in there, mm -hmm. go straight through. If anyone interrupts us on the way, we're like, hey, don't worry about us. Nothing to do with you. Yeah, tell us your boring stories and they'll and be your friends. We just, we just cruise on through mm -hmm. to the home world. We say hi and then we go straight on to the Zotpot Peak. Cool. And then we save them from whoever it is that's missing from them extinction, up. yeah. Sweet. We've got a plan. Man, Make I progress. Like, I, I really want to just explore like all of these little fucking ones on the corners, though. We can come back to them after we've done, done some quests. A git class. This, what's this one down here? Eta git class. Kruger. I'm just messing around. Sorry, Steve. What's this one over here? Beta array. I mean, it's a, lot, it's a long way to go to get some of these. I bet you there's like some good stuff up here and stuff. Oh, there's corners. bound to be. Groom bridge. That sounds important. Yeah. We need to find beetle juice as well. There's cool stuff there. Beetle stuff. Oh, yes. And also we came from, I think, Vega or Vela or something like that. Where is Beetlejuice? I assume it's around here somewhere, probably. I don't know. All right, that's it. Cool. We're leaving. GG. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay. Thanks to everyone who donated oh, and sorry, subscribed. Oh, can't even see anymore because he fucking... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, All right, bye, everybody. See you next week. Well, not next week. See you next time. Bye. Bye. If you were in Amsterdam right now, what would you want to do? I would want to get Spark up a big fat one. <laughs> get fucked up. Get fucked up. Poor role model. Poor role model for our audience there, everyone. <laughs> Amsterdam, ladies and gentlemen. It's not, a, it's not a city of culture, it's just a place to get I high. Would... To get I high. Would... Get fucked up. Right here, Lewis. Put you a fat one. Big fat one. Get fucked up! Hey, don't hit the player. Hit the game. Game. Straight up G. Get fucked up! 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 Get fucked Jack Daniels and, and higher accent calendar of G.
watch it. With all that street 